experiencing what we used to experience some time ago, which is doom so. Uh, I don't know about you and where you live, whether you're also experiencing some light out. Um, yes, um, good, good, good afternoon to our listeners. You know, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> confused. Uh, that's the, um, when they ask the politicians, <laughs> yeah, they start yeah. and say, I think they um, well Thank you very much for the question. Yeah. I want to say good afternoon to your listeners. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, <laughs> sometimes they forget they already say good, <laughs> good afternoon to your viewers. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> it's, you know, it's sad when you, you, you get people, you know, um, I have um, uh, uh, an, to do an elderly this. friend yeah, mm. who says, in Ghana, says that, Mm. So it means that when you want to say a lie, make sure the lie is white. Mm. You will not meet it anywhere. You need to rain him in before he infects me. No, no, no. Oh, let, let him infect me. <laughs> you know. So I mean, we were in this country when a group of people came by and said they had solved a lot of things. And today we are living with those, those same things that uh, they said they solved. I mean, they use that as as campaign uh, messages and all that. And and two down, two years down the line, we're still experiencing it. So um, it's sad. Yes, Dumso is back and it's in full effect. You know. oh, really? Oh yes. Who, you don't. Who you don't. Told you? you don't experience what, it what, at your place. What, what did you hear that? You, oh no, I'm saying you don't experience it, right? You don't. Do you? Or you you okay, you live by the Jubilee House, right? I'm sure around that area and nothing and somewhere around the Nima police station, Bulldog, those places. You live where Shatawali says you are. Ah. You what are you saying? Yes. Uh, she's asking where that doom saw is back, and I'm saying yes, with full effect. Well you're saying yes though Lord it's shedding. formal. But we haven't had any formal I mean you know we won't we won't I mean or the group of uh, individuals running the, the system now won't admit that it's uh, they don't even know they'll say ah, what are they talking no they don't know they because they can't what, what would they say what would be their excuse so you are assuming no i'm not this is happening isn't it we're living maybe two three days uh, uh light then the rest of the days darkness oh, oh. Wow. oh. is it that bad again is it that bad is it that bad i'm okay <laughs> Even hey. Sadiq is, is, Sadiq is shaking his head. Uh, maybe Isn't where he bad? lives. We, we live in the Zongo, you know. So, Jale, we, 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 we experience some of these things all the time. I don't know about my other colleagues, but uh, let them also speak. But Uncle Ken, Uncle Ken. I, in my area, there is, is back. Uncle Ken. Yes. Is it that bad? Do you think Ms. that we are back to the days of power rationing? In my neck of the woods, I do not experience what uh, Bulldog is talking about. Mm -hmm. There have been occasional hiccups here and there, but it is not a normal thing that happens. That's my neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it, somebody else's neck of the woods, you know, and uh, I would not be in a position to... Uh, <clears throat> tell Bulldog he's a liar or he's making things up. He lives where he lives and he thinks and he's saying that this is what happens there. So if it is, the most important thing is for everybody to come clean and tell us if there is an issue. Mm. Mm. As a people, I'm saying government should come clean, <coughs> tell us if there is an issue. So that if there is an issue, nobody can go uh, uh, for so long without a hiccup in life there are hiccups mm. and if they happen the most important thing is to let the people know what has caused the hiccup mm. and for how long that hiccup is going to be for mm. once people know these things then they can adjust they, they can adjust to it and mm. take them in good but if you do not come out to say anything then you give room for people to say what they want to say and that's what's happening that's what's happening Sadiq what's happening in your area interestingly I only experience a doom so on Facebook, on the social media. <laughs> honestly, I mean, I mean, so that, honestly, when people say, where do you live? So, not Kanishi. Oh, okay, so the lights go. Always... Just in there. Um, do you stay home at all? Well, I mean, every every morning I'm off and I come back later in the evening. But between these times, I haven't experienced it. Mm. When I'm leaving in the morning, no doom so. I come back, I don't meet the doom so as well. I see. And in the offices where I work, we haven't. I don't think we've used the generator. 
I mean, during the period. So, I mean, honestly, when people say doom, so perhaps it's, I mean, peculiar it's to in the areas. area. Mm. You know, so I, I would, I'm tempted that's to believe that starts, it may, right? per, it perhaps may be a technical. Bulldog says that's how he starts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he, 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 I mean, he, that's his experience. I mm. can't, mm-hmm. like, I can't, you can't fault him. No. I can't, you do. Know, but honestly, for me, I haven't experienced it. But, mm. And for me as well. I don't think I mean it's doom so. However, if it if there's a problem like Angel Kelly saying, I, I think that the it was a great call. They came they out communicated. But they spoke about a certain day. Okay. And that was my worry. No, there was a there's an another it was communication a particular related to day, the gas footage. It was a part, there was a particular day that had a very general mm-hmm. uh doom so issue. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they came out. To clarify, to, to clarify mm. that something happened and that was the cause of that particular day. And then but the, my issue is mm. that prior to that, people had been complaining about Producer. you, you know, the uh, lights going off and on and blah blah blah, low voltages all over the area. Mm. So there, but, but, but there definitely is an issue. All right, so Uncle people are being com- comparatively. It's See who we have here. <laughs> Country manager hey, for Africa. Hey, hey, hey. Chop their money in where? Oh, yeah. I bet I'm so excited. Guys. Francis oh, no. Doku is oh, in the house. Where's the guy? Francis yeah. Doku is in the house. I chop all the money. I chop all the guy like good one. Yeah. Yeah. Francis, you need yeah. to give a camera. No D U M B questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Francis Doku is in the house. Let me go ask them questions. Let me ask. Oh, good question. But anyway, oh, let's, let's, wrap up, the let, let's, <laughs> let's wrap up the conversation on Doom. So, are, are you experiencing power rationing where you live? I think, like uh, Sadiq, I'm experiencing it on Facebook. Uh, okay. To be honest, <laughs> it, it's it's not like <coughs> Doom saw. Mm. I mean, there's comparatively power going off sometimes. I mean, we work mostly out of home, mm. you know. Right. So, but you hear that there's power off in your neighborhood. Oh, By the time you get home, there's light, you know, and all that. But so again, as Bulldog said, that's how it starts. Mm. Um, that's how it started in 20 2013. 13. When the submarine cable, you know, was knocked. In fact, it was 2012. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, that's how it started, and then eventually became a, a full-blown problem. So again, as Uncle Ken said, there's a need to manage. Mm. If if we're getting into it, let us know. I think public need to know some of these things mm-hmm. so that we don't speculate, like mm. Bulldog is saying, mm. food doom so. But <laughs> again, depends also where you live. Like Sadif is lying. He lives at the cantonments. So, mm. <laughs> 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 ah, but he just told us. Is that not Kanish? He lives, no, no, he lives at Canton. So oh, so I see. I probably not ah. yes, it. <laughs> so, w- 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where exactly does Sadiq live? <laughs> Sadiq, Sadiq, Sadiq pointed his house to me <laughs> somewhere uh, other than not Kanish and, and Cantonments. <laughs> and he knows this. Again. You pointed pointed somewhere to me. Do you okay. remember? I, I remember. So, yeah. let me, so let me. where did you point to me and told me that oh, was your house? That was it was where? Oh, that's not Kanishi. No. Hey. When we're going for this guy's funeral. When we're going for Nana's funeral. Yes, that's not and Kanishi. We got to, to, no, 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 no. That's not, not Kanishi. Oh, we just Wally. crossed the... Uh, uh, Shut house. No, just Chief this Africa. place. Um, oh, what's it called? Aveno. Aveno. Yes. Oh, that's on the right. Not. And you s- you pointed that's the house right. that's to me. Uh, so maybe so like, that's no, that's not so. Right. Veno and so right. not Kanish, they, 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 so we went to f- um, Fan Milk. No. I live at North Kanish, in fact. I see. I live at North Kanish. Anyway, so Kweku <laughs> says, says, mm, yeah, Kweku says, um, Joy, I live in Tema, Abokobi. Mm. My light is off almost two hours. It has been off for almost two hours, and I think that's what he wants he to listen, say. He listen to the part of Ghana where Satawali is. Doomsaw is back. Stop. Let's stop these lies. That's what he says. And, and who's lying? Uh, I wonder. <coughs> I wonder. And uh, somebody says no politician should be trusted, whether party Q or party R. They shouldn't be trusted. So <coughs> now, now let's continue the conversation. Uh, now that we have the country ref for Afrima, it's a good time to start the conversation mm. because you know how this All African uh, Music Awards started. We heard that there was it might not come on. There were some uh, reports that you know government had not fulfilled it part of the bargain and uh, things that needed to be done before this week had not been done and so we're sure that it was going to come off thankfully now it's coming out nicely I, I i don't know whether anybody thinks like how some people thought that it was hype for the show country director since you're here was there a point where there was uh, some contemplation as to you know whether african africa was going to happen or not 
thank you very much. When the shares friend. Okay, I mean, just to give a bit of background, I mean, I think that uh, <coughs> we've had conversations about Freema for a while. Um, Afrima is all Africa Music Awards to begin <coughs> with. It started in 2014. Um, Lagos had a right to host it for about three years. Uh, the fourth year, the Africa Union, which is the custodian of the brand, Afrima, was um, trying to look for an alternate uh, place to let it be hosted. But the decisions didn't come early, so Lagos was allowed to host it again. So four, four, four past ones were held in Lagos. Then uh, there was a need to look outside of Lagos to get a venue or a city to host it. So a few uh, cities and countries uh, put in a bit, um, South Africa, Equatorial Guinea, Mozambique, Mozambique yes, uh, South, um, Morocco. Eventually in May, if you recall, the Africa Union and the International Committee of Africa uh, were in town as part of uh, the unveil of the 2018 Africa calendar. And part of that, the, a visit was paid to the president of Ghana, Nana Dudankwa Kufuado, uh, led by the tourism minister. Another meeting, uh, the president urged the tourism minister to make sure that um, the bidding process will go well and Ghana will not only host the calendar on bill, but will eventually host the event itself. So fast forward to September. The Africa Union announced in Ethiopia that a rise to host was had been uh, given to Ghana, mm. uh, and then subsequent to that, uh, cele- c- ceremony was held at the uh, Kempinski Hotel in Accra here for Ghana to accept, you know, the bid that had been given to it, and so from then till now there have been preparations towards the Afrima, and thankfully from last Wednesday, uh, the musicians from across the continent started arriving. Uh, there have been some production teams that have arrived about a week earlier. And the event started from that night. There was a soiree, um, arrive at soiree, welcome soiree. You know, like if people come to your country or your house, you need to give them water and then give them a kwaba and then you ask them a kwan susem and all that. So that was done on Wednesday. So on Thursday 22nd, we had what we call the African Music Business Summit, which is uh, conversations about how to improve the business of music on the continent. I mean, we know we are good. We have the talent as Africans when it comes to things about music, creative arts and all that. But what we haven't properly done is the business side of things. So that was to help, you know, everybody in the mid- music industry across the value chain to see the need to improve what we do. The presence of digital gives opportunity to improve that networking extra. Then in the evening of that, there was what we call the African Music Village, which is primarily uh, an open music concert Mm -hmm. for everybody who could attend. I mean, most of the activities that happened were things that are held in small gatherings, small hotel rooms here and there, pub here and there. But you wanted the people to have a feel of, of what is in town. So that's... African Music Village was to do that, and that's what it did. So we had a lot of people gathered at Independence Square, and that happened. And on Friday, there was the tour of the city. You know, people come to your city. You need to show them around. So there was tour of the city, and in the evening, there was a So where did they go? I heard they went to um, the Jubilee House. Where else did they go? Oh, they did a tour before getting to the Jubilee House. So um, what do you call it? Um, Mausoleum, Kruma Mausoleum. Uh, the Kirchenbaugh Castle, okay. uh, along the line, and I did a presentation at the oh. <laughs> Kangmo. Kangmo. Hey, why is it? Why is it? Why is it Kirchenbaugh Castle? Which one? The one behind us? Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's the a, place the people they squat for. No? no, no, they didn't go to the beach. The castle. Ah. No more. The castle oh, now no is it's a, it's a, a, a monument. It's a monument. Tourism, it's a tourism tourism I see the back there. No. They didn't go but to the back. But you said they didn't go to the, the back. No. <laughs> 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 a monument there, yeah. Uh, okay, so to continue. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> after that, they paid a visit to the presidency. I mean, of course, um, this is hosted by the government of Ghana. So there's a need to pay that courtesy on the presidency. And then... Today is the, the, is the, the, the award ceremony, which mm. really is, a, is like a final event mm. of Afrima. Of course, not necessarily the final. The final event is an after party after the after the, the awards. Uh, the awards. Mm. So, but awards is really the fulcrum of everything, you know. So it's like a, a week of activities about music, mm. about creative arts, and then crowned by the award ceremony, which will happen at the International Conference Center today. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, it's the one venue we have that can 
be held for the kind of production that will be done by Freema. But it's not our biggest venue. Uh, we hope that uh, subsequent times I don't know if Sadiq would be excited about that. that one. Yeah, of mm, course. Mm, Sadiq mm, knows mm, <laughs> what conversations we've had. Okay. You know, but the point uh, has to be made as you are asking. I mean, just to come back to answer your mm. question. Sorry, I had to give a bit of a background. That's okay. You know, so... <coughs> Well, I think that we got up and got uh, heard in the um, read in the news that there were a few issues uh, about Afrima not coming on, mm-hmm. um, and so we had to find a way to assure everybody who had read that that no, I mean, as far as we know, um, it was coming on as planned. Um, this is a big project; it's a big event, and every event you have, regardless, even if it's small, it's medium, it's big there are going to be challenges and i can't sit here and say that no, there have been challenges there have been challenges uh, in terms of managing the project from all aspects of 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 the event and so we have tried to manage that and thankfully we are here today so if you said there were you challenges know, just so that we are we are clear was there a point that it, the challenge was that government was not heeding to you know the call or or, or the promises um they had made initially was there a point where it was difficult for them to fulfill the things that they had said to you <laughs> <laughs> okay look um the decision to bring afrima to ghana was a decision uh, by the african union based on the on the discussion that had been held with, with the government of ghana through the ministry of tourism and so the the biggest support mm-hmm. for afrima was the mm-hmm. government you know of ghana and we have been working with the government. We have been working with the Ministry of Tourism, the Ministry itself, the agencies under the ministry and all that to make sure that, that these things happen. The challenges I, I spoke about are challenges of, you know, things that relate to how to get the transportation system going, how to get accommodation things going. There are a lot of people that have arrived, finally arrived in the country. But before they would, there's a need for a lot of planning, a need of going back, you know, and forth you know, and all that. But the point about Afrima is also that it's a big project, so you need the funding to be, you know, coming in to mm-hmm. be able to do that. And we we'll have discussions up and down. Eventually, we got things going, you know. So yes, Francis is trying to be um, very diplomatic about some of the things that he's saying. Oh no, when he I'm says just we, what, who is we? Ah, uh, oh, but he's a country manager. He together with government. So, so, so Afrima, mm-hmm. Afrima country manager. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes. I am oh, the country okay. manager okay. for Afrima. He, he no, no, no. I'm know. not even the country manager. Country I'm the director. country director. Are you pretending director. not to know Bulldog? He no, is. No, he's no, pretending no, not to. No, 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 but Bulldog, you know, some people thought and uh, that this was actually hype. So if you, you know, didn't, so wait, for us if you didn't know, how did you know he chopped the money? Oh, well, the minister uh, You know, he's a minister's oh, friend. Yeah. The minister said I chop. Oh, wait, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get to that. Oh, okay, we'll get, we'll to, get that. to that. We'll get to that. The we're, tips are we're, there. We're start- <laughs> I don't think the minister said I chop. Okay. We'll, we'll get, we'll get to what the minister she can't said. Say that. He, okay. She didn't say that okay. specifically, but we'll I'm get sorry, to what she said. Me. And she said she misses you. I'm sure you listened. She said that. Yes, 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 yes. She said that on radio. She's got a silver tongue, you know, and not to be. No, but she thinks you are great or disrespectful. Oh, no, but let him make his comment. I want to hear what he has to say. Oh, Have I finished? finished? No, 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 you haven't finished. Oh. You haven't <laughs> finished. <laughs> but you know, people thought that that was... Who <laughs> <laughs> you are in a hurry? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 people thought that this was actually hard. <laughs> you know, because maybe the organizers were not feeling uh, the Afrima fever. They didn't think it was catching up with, uh, catching up with a lot of Ghanaians. And people were not excited about Afrima coming to Ghana uh, we hosting Afrima so they decided to put a story there to generate some controversy and then we begin to talk about it then we get the bus I don't know if any of you also thought that it was probably hype for Cancer. no but the minister did say that there was some element of sabotage no that that sabotage so, so will come to mm. that was so, when after the yeah and, so. and the sabotage that, will come to. no but that culminated in the information that went out to say Mm. That Afrima was no longer coming on due to unforeseen circumstances. And, and that wasn't hype. No, but that, that they could not have issues. been. Uh, that, yeah. Because that she said, not have okay, been so that's about that. She said some individual or group of no, people wanted to have the their Afrima to, to themselves. I am they wanted to host the their Afrima. Yes, I'm saying that. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is, we, we can't unravel all those uh, issues here. But I'm just saying that from what happened, the minister also reiterated the point about sabotage mm. with you. 
Yeah. Is she not? Yes. And you even Alison said she should interview. not use the, the, word, sabotage. the word sabotage. <laughs> but I think, I'm saying that I think that why the minister used that word was the fact that information got out mm. earlier on that the event was no longer happening. Did it not, Francis? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we, yeah. We, we, yeah. yeah we and we were yeah. supposed to have discussed that last week mm. if we had, had the show. Had the show. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, the yeah. NDC Congress mm. took over the show, so we didn't. So Francis later had to come on to let the public know that the show was it's up, the on. event was happening. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that the yes, case? That's yeah, true, that's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, so, uh, but if I should say... saying that it was hype, right? I'm no, saying no, people that think that it, it was hype. Mm. Mm. No, but if I should say, I mean, hype from where? Point from is where? that um, you, have a, you have a brand. Um, mm. it, it should be said that Afrima is not just something for Ghana. It's a, it's a, it's a continental thing. Exactly. And I can assure you the number of calls that came in from other places, mm -hmm. you know, wanting to find out while well, this thing coming up. Because people had booked their flights, yeah. you know, and, and, and yeah. etc. So, as a brand pe owner, why would you do that to, to hurt your own brand? You know, mm -hmm. so, I don't know, but that's what we, we that's a reality that we face. And mm -hmm. we needed to f do very strong, you know, communication to assure both people here in Ghana and the external people who are going to leave their homes and come because of Afrima mm -hmm. that, yes, the event is coming on. So, it's a challenge. I can even tell you that there are one or two people who didn't come because, because they... Of that. Of that, of that, mm -hmm. you know. So... Uh, it, it, um, is it just because they read? Because you're supposed to get in touch with them and tell them, we booked your flight, we booked your hotel. No, they booked their flight and all that. But media is strong. You know, sometimes <laughs> like, there's lag in communication mm. sometimes as well. You may have sent an email to people they may not have yeah, read. You call people, they, you may not get through to them. And based on that, they would have to look at what so to you're do. saying so that that did some damage in a way yes yes yeah of course in it a way, did. yeah now, now a bulldog and are mm. you excited that you know afrima is here mm. <laughs> oh um it puts some money in our axe pocket it puts some money in the um, <clears throat> uh, uh local um service providers pocket you know and for me it's good again some Ghanaians have benefited mm. you know my my thing with Afrima and I I wrote something on Facebook was <clears throat> it's sad that we'll go out there to bring an idea from whatever whether it's Nigeria South Africa I, I don't see the essence why we will go out there as a nation to sponsor a foreign concept it doesn't make sense to me you don't think we are benefiting in any way Wh what was the benefit but you just said that it so, put so, some money mm, in the pockets of your so let, me, so let me say this mm. if we had an idea generated from home it will still benefit us you don't get what but I'm you saying. won't bring the number of africans no, who no, are here don't say that listen did they use juju and tricks to bring the people no this is a brand mm, that have, has been built from day one. It's a good brand. We all know about Africa. It's, it's a good brand. They've built it in Nigeria. You understand? I'm saying, why can't we build ours and also invite the world? So, 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 for me, nothing, nothing, nobody can convince me that this is this was good for us because the chunk of the money will not stay here. <laughs> The chunk of our monies, the taxpayers' money that now they want to even collect more, no, will not stay here. So it saddens my heart. I'm saying that, listen, maybe Panafest is in the wind. It will never be here again. No. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I say maybe. But the minister talk, talked about, she said you're trying to rebrand to make it more Sweetheart. exciting and Sweetheart. all that. So, so whatever it is. So if you want to rebrand it, maybe we'll... Listen, I have worked in this space for a very long time. I know Francis. He knows me very well. I know uh, Sadiq, I know Rudy, all the, my, my boss, I know everybody. These are individuals who, given the same opportunity, my point, given the same opportunity with the same resource that we're spending on these Nigerians, would have generated something even better and also invite the world. It's because Pan-African, not just Nigerians. Wh whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Don't let us do that PR because I'm saying that, listen, as a country manager, Director. Director. Mm. How much did he even make? Ah. No, I'm saying. I'm, oh, no. Serious. No, no, no. no. Seriously. If this was a Ghanaian-owned or Ghanaian 
uh, concept. We will all make a lot of monies. So I'm saying that the chunk of the monies that will go cheers to our out there. Uh, why, why not? Cheers to our so, No, oh, I mean, I won't do cheers. <laughs> I, 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 no, I'm being... I, you <laughs> see, cheers let's be our, realistic. Cheers, cheers to our Yeah, let's be realistic. We are all cheering. Oh, no, 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 the worst of all, it's not even about the money, it's about the glory. <laughs> Eventually, the glory goes to who? We? No! The concept holders. Who are they? <sighs> when Africa travels around the world, the glory goes to who? But aren't we supposed so to So you don't proud? want to be part of it? Uh, no, Is that what you're saying? Well, am I even part of it? Are, are you, are you saying of that it? you do not that's want not the, to that's be not part the, of it? Am I even part of it? I am not. But you, you are. You, if you, you are, are not, why is it here? You, 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 who is part okay. of what? Okay. I mean the Ghanaian. Oh. If Ghana is not part of it, why is it here? Of us. Why is it here? Let me say this. Come on. No, no, let me say this. Mm -hmm. You see, let us stop, stop the politics. Oh, who's, oh, who's oh, politicking wait, here? Wait, wait, wait. Politic? Who's me, politicking let me, let me here? Land, uh, okay, maybe let, 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 let him land. make his point. Maybe we would, we'll <laughs> get land. to understand. I am saying that. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is. Regardless, and when I say politics, it's not about NDC or MP. Oh, that's not what I'm saying. Agbe, agbe, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that let's stop politicking and say that, oh, yes, it, we, we, uh, it's good for us. I'm saying that on the real, on the real, yeah, mm. if we had created our own concept and sent it to the world with this same 4.5 million or the, the figures they are throwing about, <coughs> who would the glory come to eventually? Us. I'm saying that there are professionals in the space so are we saying that what Afrima or what they are doing here is something we cannot do on our own and sponsor with our own money is it that we don't trust ourselves that's the question that's the real matter and not what they are doing because what they are doing is not like anything that hasn't happened here before whoever is coming to town it's not like anybody can do that my point is why can't we get an original idea from home <coughs> And sponsor our own thing. So who's stopping you from doing that, Bulldog? What do you mean by that? He that? doesn't have the, the finance. Exactly. Right? I'm saying who's, who's stopping you? Do you me? know the ideas that are on paper and our own people will not support? Let's be realistic. See, because when we go back and forth and talk about lights and talk mm. about people who came, <coughs> the people that sold uh, food there, Ghanaians that made money, it doesn't make any sense. So... It doesn't make any sense to us. It does the, There's no meaning. Af Afrima, there's, there's no meaning. It doesn't benefit us in any way. No, it does no. It's meaning meaningless. Oh, okay. I thought in the beginning he said. <laughs> no, he said it's only money. Can you listen, my focus. point is no. You mm. see, let me tell you what, what, what you don't get it, big man. No, I'm not getting. Please, it. okay. No, so, so no, let me let me just wrap up in a minute. Some of us are not getting you. Let me wrap up. We will not give you all the time. No, let me wrap up. Okay, okay. Let's. He has just one. Why would you get you? We will not give you the time to go on and on. You have the money in your pocket. Okay, let's. To the detriment of your colleagues. You have one minute. Yes. So I am saying that the others can make their points. Moving forward. Let's say so. So, but, but, but what Ken, am I saying? Uncle Ken. What, what am I saying? Ah, well, that's what I've been saying. Are you listening? Uncle Ken. Moving Are you listening, Uncle, Uncle Ken. Ken? You're not even listening. Oh, Uncle Ken, let him make his point and then we can move on. We should... And we have brains in this country. Beautiful brains. Let's support brains here to do bigger events and take it elsewhere. Because no government anywhere. It's like telling me that we're, uh, we're going to go and bring uh, a BET and come and sponsor it. You think the American government or the Nigerian government or any government will support uh, any initiative we put up here? Does it make sense to you? When I'm talking, people are saying some, some things. Mm. Mm. Don't let us be speaking English and making politics or doing politics with this. It is sad. So, okay, make your point and then we can My hear. point is that mm -hmm. let us create our own and send it to the world because this same event, what are they doing differently? The, the stage, the lights, what? The peace squares coming here, whoever cannot come here. If we had our own original event, Okay, but the, just the last thing I want to ask you before Uncle Ken comes yeah. in. If you say that we should create our own and send mm -hmm. it to the world, we are mm -hmm. not accepting people's own, but we should create our That's own. That's not what I'm yeah. saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that the money spent on others, <laughs> we can spend it on ours. Okay. Ah, okay. Me, you are, okay. Am I speaking some other language? It's okay. We are, we, I, I'm sure Uncle Ken will have some, some, some something else to say. Uncle Ken. Oh. Uncle, yes, Ken has, Uncle Ken is bringing a paper from his pocket. Yeah. Uncle Ken, should I give you the I'm last able. word? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Please I think go to, we should go give to. Sadiq. Sadiq. Before, before <laughs> I go, you should, Uncle Ken, 
That's a way of saying chia. One of can say chia. Oh, Budok, you please, you've made your comment. Let's let, let your points. Let's oh, it's like, sad. We first stop so that. So he said it's sad. He says there's nothing apart from the fact that some actors are going to get money in their pockets. He doesn't see anything mm. right about Afrima. Mm. The country director is, is <laughs> sipping on his drink. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he said you've made enough money. Paid, in your yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, you, I'll, I'll respond. And the detriment of your colleagues. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, yes. Anyway, Sadiq, let's hear you. No, but uh, that, would, that would be a bit harsh. But anyway, you have to. Uh, then you cut my throat. You have to. <laughs> 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 okay, let's yes, hear Sadiq now. Also, I mean, um, what I, have to say. I think that for, for me, my point has been I mean, made time and time again. My views about Afrima from the beginning, I mean, I shared. Um, for me, I, I thought that I did not really um, a concept like Afrima, a concept that will bring the world to your country. The whole concept of bringing the world to a particular country is a good one. The world or Africa? The world, Africa, the world. Because this is a world coming mm-hmm. to your country is a good one. The concept, the principle behind it, <coughs> it's a good one. Um, I thought that, I mean, I have been from a distance been involved in uh, MAMIS and I've been, I know some of the numbers and some of the things that it does to I mean, cities and all of that. But I made the point that given our current situation, uh, given the fact that um, initiatives in the in the country are already delivering the kind of KPIs that Afrimas is meant to, because the minister mentioned the ask her, I mean the main objective of it, she mentioned a number of things, and I made the point that once these initiatives were already delivering it, I thought, and this was very very f- from the time that the idea was mooted, I made a point that I I wanted these things to be funded rather. So, I mean, they can have the strength to achieve what Afrima is meant to do. So, I, I remember from the beginning, I could okay. before um, Chalote was mm-hmm. mentioned, cited, I mentioned Chalote, I spoke about Panafes. Miss uh, Nana Texan, so rest in peace. I think <laughs> I <laughs> that will end up tangent. I mentioned Panafes, I mentioned even some few weeks ago, I cited Glitz when I made the point that Glitz every year, Chalote every year media people around the world because one of the key things that the minister mentioned was international positive international press i mean attention one of the key things it does is that it's able to even without state support it's able to attract all of these things so i made the point that these things needed to be funded rather than afrima but fast forward i mean i think it's refreshing that the ministry made the quick move because i think they they realized all the feedback that was coming mm-hmm. and then they supported afrimas and then these are the events that we hear now that next year will be supported. So I made that point, I mean, very strongly. And then most importantly for me, this week, my conversations revolve, and like Bulldog was saying, I was making the point that every country around the world, when they spend money on initiatives such as this, they make sure a chunk or if not whole of it stays within the country or stays with the people. Mm-hmm. So the Brazilian government will give you money for construction and Kyrgyz go or the construction company will come and construct it. If Germany gives you, if the U.S. gives you money for a number of things, you can be rest assured that German company, uh, American companies were executed. Recently, there was a whole international conversation on the, what, is it the ECG consignment or something, which was going to be um, chiefly funded by the Millennium um, um, Development Account or something like that, authority or what's it called. Mm-hmm. But American companies are still executed. <coughs> so this week, my point to the minister was that, and Francis is here, maybe he can debunk it. <laughs> For, with information, realized that close to about 90% of the crew working on the event were Nigerians. Well, she said, I listened to you and ask her that question. Yes, and, and then she, she said that she, she made the, Pan Africans. And yes, then she and said then she that we have not that, done this before. Yeah. Yes, and I said that around the world, when Mames went to Nigeria, for instance, aside from the executive producer and the line managers in Nigeria, it's not possible for you to have such a huge number of the crew not coming from Nigeria. Check with it. Check in with anybody. Bulldog was in um, Nigeria's telephone. I don't think it would have been possible for them to have carried the entire crew there. Recently, one Gloat came to do the event. That was one of the first, somewhat one of the things I said as well. That I think it's edged in the Nigerians' consciousness that even when we, we it, it, it's happening in our country where we won't allow you to bring in your cast and crew more than our crew to come and work on the event. And even when we travel, it has to be the same way. You know, so I made a point. My two points is simple. I didn't think that given the situation, this thing, this was necessary, despite the fact that ordinarily the, or the principle behind it is good. 
but fast forward the response from the minister is that all these other initiatives that will be mentioned from next year is going to be captured in the budget, which I think is refreshing and, and commendable. And she also mentioned that they actually supported Chaluwati and the Black uh, Star. But we program. started making this particular point, if you remember. I remember mm-hmm. a number of people disagreed with us. So when the Chaluwati came in, I know a number of people that reached out to say, well, maybe the campaign or the advocacy went Word. good mm-hmm. or if they gathered the feedback. So, in a nutshell, so most importantly, what, you, what you're trying to say is that, um, you know, much as... As far as, mm-hmm. as far as all these local initiatives, like Bulldog is saying, is going to receive this kind of support, I think it's in order. Mm. So now that it's been it's been done, it's another. But most importantly, if you're going to spend this much money, which is a seven hundred thousand dollars, that so far has mm-hmm. been spent. Mm-hmm. Maybe France we will confirm or not. Yeah, as of Friday, seven hundred thousand dollars had been spent. <laughs> More, the right. money, most importantly. Oh, no. it, we asked you to tell us if government yeah. had not. Because I mean, she said know, that she said no, that. No, wait. Well, it said, said Francis will confirm or not, and ah, I said okay. or not. Or okay. not. <laughs> okay. So seven hundred thousand dollars assistance now that has been spent on it definitely could fund a number of things. So that's that's in, that's fine. But most important, that money should have should stay here. Not necessarily that money going to Afrima. You don't think we're and going I mean, to make any, maybe more than that. So far, a lot of the money. Mm. I mean, and I, I said that France can debunk them because oh, I am. I have the information on the crew, you know. And everybody is coming from Nigeria. Show directors coming from Nigeria. Producer is coming from Nigeria. Floor and manager. Some of these things you have to respond things, to. So maybe you have. It's to coming from them. Nigeria, and so um, I thought that it was unfor- okay, unfortunate. Yes. <laughs> you know, I thought that was unfortunate. The crew. Is here the expertise is here, and that's why I disagreed with the minister and the chairman, the committee, um, the committee chairman, when he said that, oh, they needed to come into teachers and mm. all of that. I was like, no, what would they teach us? What is it exactly? Because some of our crew people understand these things. Bulldog, better, you know. So yes, I think that I mean, from, but for me, regardless, I think the point has been made again and again. I think that, I think that. <laughs> he's distracting me. Budog, you're distracting me. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm talking. Because you're supposed to be listening to him when you're speaking. Uh, why is he looking at me? <laughs> this is, this is the mic is in front of So you have, you have a minute yeah. to wrap up. Yeah, so can. I think that is good. But regardless, I think that a point strongly has been made mm. by myself, Bulldog, everybody else who've Who made the point. everybody else? Well, maybe not thank you, Ken. Okay, so the Ken. Let me just finish. 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 Let me they would have a very, very good event, most importantly. You know, I would the value, the entertainment value, I expect to be there. I expect to watch good performances and everything. Mm. But I also expect the ministry and the state to gather this feedback that we've been giving them. Fortunately, there's a there's a there's a there's indications that that feedback has been taken and next year these things will be factored in. So mm-hmm. I mean for me that's the when. Uncle Ken. Nice one. Sorry, just uh, um, before I even start, were you at the event on Thursday night? Yes, yes. Uh, what was it dubbed as? Uh, Afrima yeah. Afri- Village. Afri- 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 village. Mm-hmm. Yeah, music village. And what did you think of it? The music village. Yes. What were your thoughts of what happened at the village? I'm asking this for a reason. But honestly, when I went there, there wasn't any wow factor. One of the reasons why I went there was okay, of the hype, I wanted to go and see what exactly. Are these guys coming to do that? Mm. No, we day haven't here, seen here. You know, mm. and I went in and honestly, and I was telling somebody, you see the same event, Kusius, who I worked with Kusius on the same concert in 2007, similar mm. stage size, lights, everything, 2007. You know, so you mean, and then, and then what, like? what struck me again was the fact that. I mean, the non-payment of the DJs, for instance, mm. which I'm which brought we'll to attention. Which we'll go to because it's, a, it's one of the things that, you know, Francis' name came up during right. the, the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, mm. I mean, but, really, but if I should have and the most important, I also realized that, I also realized that, just to, you have a lot to respond no, 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 to. But let me just, I, I, let me just finish Uncle Ken's answer. I'm answer. just mm. adding to what, oh. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just, I'm just, okay, adding to that, just correcting something. That the stage that Sadiq saw, the cake stage, yeah, it's not it's, it's not a stage that ah. was meant to. Um, something happened, and okay. one day the stage had to be changed to something different. Will you tell us what happened? No, no, no. But it came ah. down. 
So there was a correction. It came down yeah. how? Yeah. Where I mean, put their plane so there? No, I'm so just saying you don't that. I'm just saying down. that Sadiq saw something that would have been a bit more spectacular than Bafo. For a few reasons, it had to be changed. So, so did Nabil work on the project? Nabil did. Nabil worked on the project. Nabil, did. Nabil, Nabil, worked worked on the project. Project. Nabil okay. and. and, uh, and, and says Quantum and. Eddie. No. And uh, Nabil is Ghanaian, isn't Regis, he? Yes, Regis he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. So. And then uh, again, I, 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 I was saying. Oh, I said that already. I said that already. I said that already. I spoke to you. Why are you looking at me? I didn't look at you. Oh, okay. I only asked my question. I was looking at Francis. <laughs> Francis is sitting okay, okay, okay. beside you. <laughs> and I was looking at Francis. Why? Okay. And then I was on the answering him. And then, and then I also realized something. I also realized that as of the Thursday, it didn't seem to have, I mean, connected. In, 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 I mean, the kind of people you're looking for to. You're expecting that people beyond the mm. regular people that will be attracted to like carnivals and independence square were going to make it. I was really mm. looking forward to a lot more of that mm. industry people. But I mean, it was good. Some few but industry the, people were but, there. But you were not entirely pleased yes. with what you saw. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. Thank you. There now, no Francis. Okay. Now, there are certain issues. I that think Francis is admitting that. Yes. No, no, I'm just saying he didn't get a wow factor. Uh, yes, he admitting. didn't no, get the wow no, factor. No, no, no. And he's entitled to that. Absolutely. You know, mm. e- excellent. <laughs> now, <laughs> some of the issues. But, but I need to say that the shots. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, I thought you were shots. I, I wanted them. to say one. That I, is I need to find one step spectacular thing. Mm. Honestly, I need Why to say that. Why is there a must? No, no, the no, camera no. shots, mm-hmm. the, the crane shots. Mm-hmm. I saw the crane shots. Mm-hmm. It's like, wow. wow. This looks good. That was a wow factor. Yes, wow. Yeah, so it looks good. Mm. So nice I one. To, I need to nice add Nice one. Mm. Okay. okay. Francis. Oh, Chile. No, but we. Francis, <laughs> who runs the Afrima franchise? Who runs it? Mm. The uh, African Union. The African Union. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, you have no, not the circuit rate. Hmm. Africa, Africa, no, Africa Union. Rate. Okay. Yeah. Because you the see, before you can make any meaningful suggestions or contribution, mm-hmm. you need to have the facts, mm. the basic facts. If okay. you do not have the basic facts and you just go about throwing tantrums, it will not be right. Mm. Do you know what was in the contract, the three-year contract, Francis? No. And you're the country no, director. I'm, yeah. No, I don't know. But what you do is in not the know what entails the in, the, in the contract with the Ghanaian uh, uh, counterpart. Um, that is the ministry. Is it with the Ministry uh, of uh, uh, Tourism, Art and Culture? In the Afrimas. Oh, Francis. <laughs> Francis, be serious. Francis, you, you do, you, you okay, uncle, you can, you know, can, no, the reason I'm asking what was in the contract was all this thing about 80% of the, of the crew, mm, coming, being foreign, coming, mm. being foreign, coming, mm. being foreign mm. instead of Ghanaian. Mm. Now, if I own a franchise and I come to you to sell my franchise to you and say, listen, I own this franchise. It's for the entire continent. If you're interested, we can come and host the event in your country for a number of years. But these are my conditions. Okay? These are my conditions for uh, hosting it in your country. Now, part of the conditions will be that I am solely in charge of production. And it will make sense. Yes, and that is so my you, point. So you get the quality. It will make sense yeah. because I, I do not yes. I do not want to but compromise. When the, state, yeah. when the state is paying. Oh! No, no please oh. let him speak. But that's what let I'm me selling. finish. That's what I'm selling. No, 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 you, no, no, you are, it's very, very vital. Vital. You can. It will make sense to run the show if I you. insist that I am in charge of the production. Yes. Because I know what I want, exactly, and I know what I want to give out yes. to the world. Yes. There, That's your the fact yes. that you are taking on board my franchise mm. for a number of years mm. does not mean I should compromise exactly. on quality. quality. Exactly, I, I share. That's why I want to know what I wanted to know what was in the mm. contract because I am sure that in that contract mm. it was stated explicitly mm. that hey, production is ours. Mm. Mm. 
I'm okay. Sure no mm. Yes. And and bull, I expect you to agree to this. Oh, my because you would. Oh, I'm agreeing. Exactly with you. But I think, I think some, 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 I'm some, with you. I mean, I'll respond oh, to everything. Oh, but yes. I think some I know of the things so Woodog, Woodog is saying mm. is below the belt. How can there be a major program <laughs> of this level without a contract? Yeah. I, I said that. Eh? Uh, yeah. I didn't hear myself. <laughs> So now, now because we do not know what was in the contract, the other thing I can ask the um, uh, country, country director, director which he will not know is, as well, which he must know. No, he doesn't know. What oh, was? Oh. What were the benefits to Ghana from accepting to host this this event for three years? Oh, in regards to what will be stated in the contract? Yeah. But but benefits no i mean even even, even even if you don't know what yes even no, if you no, don't no, know what, what yeah, the point is that the point is that um <laughs> it's a, it's an event uh it's an event and and you know more than bulldog mm -hmm. that oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes ah, yes my experience that uh, one yeah. one okay, one, yeah, yeah. one yes, of yes. the main things yes. or initiatives mm. that countries use for destination branding right destination marketing right by events mm. exactly mm -hmm. You know, so exactly. the benefits that come to Completely you local events. may not necessarily be mm. the money that will come into the pockets of people, mm. like Nation the country branding. director, mm. for Nation, example. Nation branding. But you say that? how would people feel or hear based on what you did mm. outside of Ghana? Why would people decide to come, come to Ghana here. based mm. on some of the things mm. you did? Those, I think, are some of the benefits that Afri that events of the size of Afrima, Afrima. would bring to, mm. to your country. Because you see, I have heard, I've heard people Expect say... Oh, we have expertise here. We have people who can produce the show. We have people who can do this. But you know something? I sit down and I say to myself, every time there is a show, people even mentioned the uh, Ghana Music Awards. Mm -hmm. Every time there's been the Ghana Music Awards, we come back after the event mm -hmm. to complain about production for television. That's true. Don't we? We do. Every time we come back and we complain. So that's to say that we don't even have what it takes. We, no, so hold on. Yes. How many years has the Ghana Music Awards been on? Mm, and every year mm. we come back and we <coughs> complain about television production. And you see these people, they don't joke about products that they're selling to the outside world. Mm. Because today in my, it is the Afrima. But you don't know what they have in mind. Tomorrow we'll bring BET. To include. Well, it's thank possible. you. It's possible. It's possible. So it's they possible. must not compromise on quality. So it's as for me, possible. as for me, I've been a bit calm so, listening to people and I'm saying to myself, we don't know what was who in the are, contract. Who are those saying that? Oh, a lot of people have mm. said it. I mean, you've heard it, haven't Sadiq, you? Sadiq yeah. Go on Facebook. I will come to Sadiq it. But Sadiq also raised the concern. Just you now. know, he has the, the, the percentage, point. the percentage that, of that the crew, the percentage of the crew. Yes, you don't agree with him. Yeah, I know yeah, that. Yes. Yeah, the percentage of the crew <laughs> and that kind of sarcastic. thing. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you read my stuff on Facebook? My point was mm. that it wasn't. Listen. Don't for me, okay, don't take against, against, yeah, for me, for me, yeah. no, 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 let no, no, let me speak, no, mm. please. Oh, my, for me, for mm. me, yeah. My point was that the people, the the the, the suppliers of the events were from Ghana, so they made some money. But running the show, it would never make sense that a Ghanaian will run the show. But you know what worried me about this whole show? <laughs> you know what worries me about this whole show? And Francis, being the country director for Afrima sitting here and not knowing certain things worries me mm. you know why because i also heard the minister knowledge transfer say uh, in that interview where yeah, you there. were you yeah. were at i don't think it was the minister who said it but it was one of her companions the person she was with the committee chairman the, the committee the, chairman for the, for the actually office. came out boldly to say that this afrima thing was the minister's baby and that all credit to go to she her. go to her for being able to swing it. I mean, he, he did he not say he that? Said that. He said did that. He not, yes. So but, you see, the minister herself also had said that create loot and share. She had, she had also said in her submission that 
Francis and some people came to her. So it was a contradiction. She Create didn't correct. Luke she didn't Escher. correct that notion though. But yeah, Francis, I might, Francis and some people, some people might have gone to Francis sell the idea to her. to her. So she didn't own the idea. She didn't take it. it was I'm Mr. Neem that actually Francis. made it look like it was <laughs> it was her baby. He said actually that was her baby. Okay, that's another side that worries me. Now, Francis, coming to you as country director, from the minister's pronouncements, after agreeing a deal with Afrima to host the event for three years, everything to do with this year's production was supposed to be in your hands. True or false? That's true. Correct. True. So, if there were any issues arising out of production and uh, things that have happened within this space of time it can be laid at your doorstep absolutely absolutely at the doorstep Thank of you, you see i said to somebody that me the way i know francis Toku, i had people all over the place saying and francis Toku is running away from issues and he's being asked how much is involved and he's not coming up francis has confirmed to me that details of the contract He's not aware of. But do you think it is right? But it might be true because he's only a country director. Uh. Ah. But he, brought he has no. He but has no. bosses, bosses upstairs. No, but for him, who run? So after the bosses have uh, run their errands and agreed on things, they now come to Francis and say, "Hey, we've been able to secure this thing in your country." Now you are going to the details but of Uncle how Ken, much money has been made and all blah 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 will not be given to Francis. Uncle Allow Ken, Francis alive. Uncle Ken, but I thought the thing hmm. was that the country yeah. director was, as messy. he took them to see the minister, he was supposed to be part of the process because he is the one directing in the country. I thought that's supposed to Do be Do you know how a lot of companies work? Well I'm saying Francis is sitting here. I'm not assuming all. Yeah, so Francis himself is sitting here and he has told us to yes. the case. No, he has told us that he does not contract. know certain details in, uh, in the contract. In he in himself has told us. So it's not but me okay, saying my point is that if there is a contract that he's seen, mm. the, 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 uh, I'm not sure there'll be parts of the uh, contract that are redacted that he will not be able to read. Uh, well no one oh, well, well, uh, you think that he hasn't seen any part of it. Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be honest. You see, when we, when we speak on radio, let us be as 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 plain as we can. What can about Tabian or Mali man be here? Because if you know anything, oh, who have okay, 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 boy. Who, who if you know oh, about you? Mali, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to finish. No, I'm not finished. So, Francis. Hey, yes, there's a tall list for you, eh? Francis. Very tall list. Having accepted responsibility for this project, yeah, yeah. I am, I will use my word once again. Okay. Totally Gob gobsmacked. smacked. <laughs> <laughs> oh that the publicity for this Afrimas. Mm -hmm was not like you because you know what i mean i sat back and i said hey hey this is a big event oh you, have, you have absolutely no idea uncle ken hmm. this is a big it's event a massive it's event. a massive event I, I i'm telling you it is a big event and i'm saying okay how come francis did not make this a national Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Because I'm saying that I put this side by side with an event like the Cape Town Jazz Festival in South Africa. That's how I'm looking at it, oh Francis. Let me finish. And the Cape Town Jazz Fest, International Jazz Festival in South Africa happens in Cape Town, but it's sponsored by the Department of Arts and Culture in South Africa. And it's a Cape Town event and by it's, the Cape Town. Yes! Event. And it's been held in Cape Town. It has been held in Cape Town since 2000, the year 2000. That's the basis of our points. 
You, you have and it's been sponsored. My point, oh, my point. That wasn't yours. You made <laughs> some make. very important points, Sadiq. It's been sponsored by the Department of Arts and Culture, which is the same as our Ministry of. And you know when this event is going to happen? When you get to Cape Town, eh, even from at the airport, you see banners, signposts, everything, everywhere on cabs and things directing you to the event. Everywhere you pass, you see things about that event that's going to happen mm. there. Why? You feel it when you enter the country. Why do you think they do that? Mm. Because to them, it's a massive event where it brings in tourists from all over Africa and the world. Mm. Because the musicians are coming from all over the world. Mm. And their own quota. Mm. They make sure they have a quota of about 50% of their local musicians mm. and 50% of outsiders mm. to come and perform. Mm. And you see, because of the local content, mm. the local content people themselves have their followers. Mm. So they all go to that event, mm. even if they don't know the foreigners. Mm. So the crowd is massive. And, they, uh, and, you know, the support is massive. And that's why I'm saying to Francis that mm. I am very disappointed mm. because a station like Joy FM mm. hardly spoke about this event. Mm. Mm. Do you Even know the why? morning show... Do you know why? Quack. Do you know why? Oh, but the minister was here. Oh. The minister was here himself to speak about it. Bullet. On what? On which? Yeah, yeah, on the Super Morning Show. Uh, on she came? Yes, she ah, was well. here. Do you have a banner on, 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 your, on your front, uh, on your front. Uh, saying that Afrima is it's here? Happening. No, but there's a lot yeah, Are you wearing Afrima t shirt? There's been a lot of publicity on you're that. You're not listening. Oh, no. So, Budo, what are you saying? What publicity? Saying? What I'm saying exactly, what, what I'm saying exactly is to side with him that if Cape Town people will create a Cape Town concept, oh, please, 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 and sponsored by Cape Town, mm. eh? mm. they will splurge money yes, like fair. Cape Town yes. Mm. It's fair. Oh, Lucy. Mm. But when you go and bring a group of uh, uh, um, Ghanaians, I mean, to more, to more take the two pair. Now I want to go to Canada by your washika. Tap a fete, no na cabs here. Speaking. No offense. Okay, I mean, how would you see mm. a, a publicity anyway. around? Anyway, anyway. My okay. point. Exactly. Francis, Francis. Okay, can, can I just, the, is, can I'm I coming just back at the inception God. of no, Africa. Just to add to the, I just give a bit of this. In 2015 or 2016, I was in Port Elizabeth for the AMAS, which is the uh -huh. All Africa, All um, Africa Movie Academy. Movie Awards. Academy Awards. Yes, I remember. If you if you you recall, AMAS is something in that Nigeria. was created in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It's always held in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But one point, the city of Port Elizabeth decided yeah. to host it. Yeah. And the last and I think hosted Rwanda, it. Rwanda, Rwanda, Kigali. Yeah, Kigali, yeah. Hosted, Kigali hosted, hosted, Kigali hosted, hosted, hosted it. it. Because they know that this is a big event. Thank you. That will bring people into the exactly. city. Kigali. Yeah, Kigali. Yeah. Yeah. Rwanda, 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 Rwanda. You, you are not listening to me. Oh. When I ask Kigali, do you know what, how Kigali, oh. do you know what is Kigali is doing? Bulldog. No, I'm just saying. To redeem Kigali's image. Bulldog. So you, you I'm just saying that. No, down. I'm just saying. Don't down. let us mix okay. the two. Oh, calm no. down. No. Listen no. to Francis. I'm just driving to the point that. I'm just driving to the point that. Point that to. It uh, is not every event that correct. is locally. Uh, and I'm saying it is that true. Is supported do you know the no okay. good? No, 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 do you know the brain behind the Kigali bringing the event there? Do you know the brain behind Ama? Going to Port Elizabeth. I am saying, do you know the brain behind Kigali bringing it? Of Port Elizabeth. What is the brain behind bringing Africa here? What, what, what is the brain behind Port Elizabeth? Okay. Port Elizabeth? Okay. What is the Sorry, brain? If you know Kigali, do you know Port Elizabeth? Bulldog. Bulldog. What are you Calm also down. talking about? Calm down. We don't Calm shout down. in this studio. Calm down. Yes, you know, <laughs> I know you are. Ah, yeah, I mean, Bulldog, if you say you have. That is my voice. shouting. That is my voice. We don't scream. We don't scream. Bulldog. We don't scream. Okay. Bulldog, you see, I've even gotten a message from. I've even gotten a message from. From Mr. Yeah, Ken, Ken Ashibe. Okay. Ken Ashibe. Mm -hmm. He says, mm -hmm. Uncle Ken, mm -hmm. please tell the gentleman Bulldog oh. that this is Joy FM. Yeah, so told yeah. come Discerning down. people are, are listening. listening. Simple message. Wait, wait, wait. Let Uncle Ken be done wait. and then we can we wait. can have you also oh. responsible. Not all listen. Please, 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 please. We can listen. Don't 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 let us track the don't wait. Don't let us belittle. 
what I am saying. Nobody is no, believing what I'm saying. Okay, your microphone, you know, your microphones are off. If we can agree to have one person speak at a time, then we can, you know, have a beautiful discourse. So let's Uncle Ken be done. And then you can also come in with your response. And then we have um, the country director, you know, respond to all the issues. So Uncle Ken. Go to my so so to, 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 end, to end my submission, I'm saying that there are lots and lots of questions that we can ask mm. about what's going on mm. and what has gone on. But while the event is still happening here, and today happens to be the uh, awards, awards night. Awards. And, and, and thank you, Francis. I mean, from the inception of this event, Francis Doku actually gave me, uh, uh, submitted my name to the secretariat to give me accreditation, accreditation for, 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 for voting. That okay. was 2014. Yeah. That was in the year 2014. And academy, I've, academy, yes, voting. Uh, academy voting. And I've been voting ever since. Okay. I received my, uh, on the 20th, 30th of October this year. And my password and everything to vote. So you're done voting. So I'm done voting. Mm. And I'm saying that we might not like the way a manner it came about. Mm. Mm. But it's here. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. okay. Let's let's just be calm. Let's l get it over and done with mm -hmm. and then we can do a proper post-mortem okay okay all right so, so bulldog i can speak now eh? <laughs> no <laughs> i'm i'm only asking you to be calm so, later on i am not discerning i won't be calm oh oh how, what are you <laughs> on about? <laughs> you said discerning before listening what are you on about <laughs> oh, 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 you just read the but, message but the thing is that so the i'm thing, saying no you might oh, not be boo. discerning but when you go have to rule my hands when you go to rule wait have I thrown, you haven't thrown your hand. Have maybe I insulted anybody? You haven't. Good. No, maybe, you haven't. maybe. So what are we talking about? Boo. Maybe, maybe. No, no. For what? Those who do not the know interjections. Me. Boo. For and those who don't know me, I don't like Francis yeah. said, the shouting. Oh, let's let's Boo. let her speak. Eh. For those who do not know yeah. you, they might not be sure that you know you're, this is how that's, you speak. That's a feedback. And so it's a feedback for is you. Is this so the first time? I'm saying that. Am I the? Is this the first time I'm here in the studio? That's what I'm saying. This that maybe the first time you've gone over is listening to you. Or Ooh. maybe, 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 Interjections are allowed when anybody speaks. Make your like point. My so point so. is that he mm. spoke about Kigali. Oh, Sadiq, why? He spoke about Kigali. And I'm saying Kigali has gone through a lot. That we admit. Good. And they are coming out of that. Mm -hmm. So they're doing a lot of things. So for all you know, there's a reason why Ghana has also decided to. No, because if you're going I did, back. I'll be set. There, there, there'll but be a text. No, no, no. She's allowed to. No, she's taking us back. Oh, okay. And you, you asked him about the point. You already uh, made this point you are making. You, you've already made this point. Oh, my goodness. Discerning people. Like it. Like it. Bulldog, don't take this to heart. No, I will. Don't take this to heart. No, I don't want to use the word. Don't take this to heart. No, I don't want to use the word. Don't use any word. No, so don't. Let's move. Let's move from that. Yes, let's move from that. Let's move. Uh -huh. I don't have a point to make. Oh, why? No. Ah, I'm anyway, making a point. You say you okay, don't want so, me to make the point. Um, no, because that point you made, you've already asked him that. Does he know the reason Afrima is here? So I was thinking that you allow him answer that. You asked him already. Mm. You, uh, you said mm. you don't know why Kigali has brought mm. went for the answer. Francis has a list of Yeah, so you asked him already. So let's ha answer, have yeah. him answer. Maybe if that's the same thing you're going to talk about, that you've already asked him. So let's have him answer because yes. there are lots of issues he has to answer before he goes. And I hear your red carpet is at four. Yeah, so it started. Start at four. And the point is that the TV, broadcast yeah, itself will start yeah. at 7.30. Okay. I mean, because this is live event, so... Mm. The gate will be closed from 7.15. You can't enter, you yes, can't yes. come out until mm -hmm. there's, there's a break. A break. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. the red carpet will go on I until hope that time. We'll, yeah. we'll that, be able to adhere to that. I, li I, that I, I like. One. I hope so. Too. That I like. We're Ghanaians and <laughs> our, yeah, time our time is that, You know, I, I yeah. like that far because for a lot of us here in Ghana, and I think yeah, for the chapters, people have always made a point. A lot of people don't know that our watch shows primarily are also produced for TV. They are yes. always produced. So for usually TV. these yeah. things here. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. I mean, and the people I mean, in the auditorium usually are uh, Jesus props. Yes, you know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the props. You'll be told to clap and everything mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. And that's right. it's the kind of knowledge transfer that mm -hmm. I think the minister referred to. 
I mean, that it will be passed, it will on, be passed on so that you know you can, you can continue to hit your head. That one is how it happened already. No, you know, for which, which event? <laughs> but which event? Which live event? No, no, no. Which live event? Okay. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. music music. You see Paco C. Oh, Do you know Paco C? Yeah, Are you saying which event? live event? Oh, it's a TV show. Uh, it's, it's, a TV event. Yeah, it's a TV show. It's a TV show. It's a TV show. You have a live event. It's the final event. He said no. Uh, this uh, I'm talking about it. You are not even listening. Okay. You are not even listening. You said knowledge transfer. We use people as props. And which event is done at? Oh, God. So you think that you think that we have done these events over We have the professionals in this country. Nobody Me, I don't, he didn't that. doubt. Nobody, no, has, he nobody said, has said that. No, I'm just saying knowledge transfer. Don't yes, say of that. course. But wait. What so is knowledge transfer? To who? To you. They know it already. <laughs> no, you. Okay. <laughs> he says he, he, I don't <laughs> want to go down the road with him. Please you please see? Please because... Please. And I'll go back no, to no, that no. text that came. No, me. true. Oh. You know me. Yes, I learned of it. No, Francis. No. Yes, no Francis, okay. The, 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 I put yeah, once again. I've had to put the microphones off. I've had to put the microphones off. Bulldog. Bulldog. Okay. So. Okay. We won't joke. And then we need you to calm down a bit for us. Please calm down a bit for us. And then. And then, Francis, you you have a lot of issues. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think the first one had to be hmm. about the fact that, I mean, uh, and I agree to a, to a fair extent that there should be a need to empower <laughs> our local people mm -hmm. to be able to come up with concepts. Mm -hmm. And there should be a support for that. I mean, some cities, some countries, for example, if you live in Johannesburg or Cape Town or any city, because mm -hmm. those people understand what event does to their cities, mm -hmm. what attention it brings to the city, what, you know, potential people could come. If you live in those cities and you have an idea, you don't even have to live there. If today I have a concept and I can bring uh, about 30,000 people to a place, the city of Johannesburg will mm -hmm. give you money to yes. do it. Yes. Yes. You know, so there's a need to look at how to support people who have concept and all that. But I don't think that is that is mutually exclusive to looking at, you know, properties that we can, we can own, you know, or, or leverage to drive some uh, objectives that we have and one of those objectives is to is to look at how people would will see the country how we can bring people into our country and all that everybody has uh, every person who's responsible for something has some objectives and they would want to use certain things to push it i think that one of the things that events like uh, or brands if you like like uh, afrima brings mm -hmm. is the attention i mean from okay, so i think Bulldog, at this point he's answering your question yeah from last <laughs> from last wednesday till now <laughs> I'm sure that if you go on any <coughs> social platform and you try to find out how many people have mentioned Ghana in one you know way or the other, you will see a lot of it coming. And it's all because now, of Afrima. Partly, I, I can say I can't say it's all because of uh, Afrima, but we can say partly because even the as we speak now, the Africa Women's you know football tournament is ongoing in Ghana, so that could also be. Now, secondly, uh, Budok mentioned something about the fact that people have come to take our money, mm -hmm. you know, and all that. Um, there are different car dealership shops in Ghana mm. and many other places. That's a place where they sell Hyundai. That's a place where they sell Kia. Mm -hmm. But also the Jaguar office is just behind Opelia yes. House. Mm -hmm. Now, you can go there and say you want Jaguar. The price of Jaguar is the price of Jaguar. Mm -hmm. If you go and you say you want to buy Jaguar, and Jaguar gives you a contract to sign, mm -hmm. and you say, yes, I want it, you have to pay for the full value of Jaguar. That's the brand that you want. You could have gone for Kia, but you chose to go for Jaguar. You can't now tomorrow say that it's too expensive because you knew it was Jaguar before you went mm -hmm. into the Jaguar shop. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you get the logic of what yeah. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a brand that has been created. Right. It takes place in many Africa. It's supposed to take place in Africa based on the rights that the AU gives. For the mm -hmm. first four, it took place in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They wanted to take it out. You say that I want it because I have an objective to use it. Mm -hmm. And they said, this is it. Mm -hmm. And you took it. Yeah. Now today, your people are sitting on radio and saying that they're coming to take our money away. You knew the <laughs> brand. Before. You don't do In this case, he's talking about referring to the state and the people, the not the Africa. Not you. you see, no, no, not Africa. I heard what he, no, what, I heard what he said. What yeah. did he say? I am saying that mm -hmm. when you say the people, mm. 
did we agree to this? She's speaking of course, you agree. Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? Who represents you? Who represents you? Do you sit in parliament to make laws? Why are we directing all our concerns to the government and the state? Let me speak. Because of these things. Okay. Do you go to parliament to make laws? Oh, you see, I get where you are saying. Let me speak. Because of these things. Okay. Do you go to parliament to make laws? Oh, you see, I get where you are saying. Let me speak. Because of these things. Okay. Do you go to parliament to make laws? Oh, you see, I get where you are saying. Let me speak. Because of these things. Okay. Do you go to parliament to make laws? Oh, you see, I get where you are saying. Let me speak. Because of these things. Okay. Do you go to parliament to make laws? Oh, you see, I get where you are saying. Let me speak. Because of these things. Okay. Do you go to parliament to make laws? Oh, you see, I get where and we are saying decisions are look like elections as we sit here there's nothing we can do we elected uh, the, the 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 president as we speak because we went to what the polls to do that mm. but this decision as we speak you are mm. saying the people that because we've given our power to them mm. they take some decisions how many industry heads were contacted for this to happen they need not do that to me though well oh, but how, you how many that? of them how it's many a, of them are they're not obliged no no, no wait, wait. Oh, don't how many that. of them also don't have you had how many industry heads for know. example were contacted before we went to buy car power mm -hmm. no for example, there was a problem. We need to solve a solution. That this, the people who make decisions decided, mm. let's go here and Budok. get it, and they solve the problem. Budok. That's why I. Or make, they try to solve the problem. Francis, that's so why I make the point that regardless, I mean, we've made obviously political leadership will take the decision. If we are not happy about it, we advocate. Absolutely, we've made some noise. Mm -hmm. We've got some feedback. <laughs> he's saying, we've why got... are we even saying that? Why are we making the noise? No, no, no. When he's we, saying that the people no, no, no. Are buy Jaguar he's and now the Jaguar for is Afema. There. No, and he can only speak. He's not speaking oh, for the no, state. No, he spoke for the state as well. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying that. No, 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 for the state. He said, "You said if you choose to buy a brand Af Africa yeah. or you want to buy brand Jaguar." I'm not speaking. I can't speak for the state. I'm not employed to speak for the Good. state. But he's a country director, so he's speaking. He's speaking. Yeah, yeah. Are you I, not not I am no. part of you. Yeah, you are part of. But I'm just saying that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Can you allow him to address the issues? Because we have other issues. I mean, he's sort of admitting that. Okay, the money. Yes, your money. Sadiq, are you are you are you helping? Yeah, so I, the Sadiq, you um, know, that's the point I'm making. Yes, but, but the decision you go has been on, made. Uh, those yeah. of you who are listening to us can also send us your comments. You know, it's on zero two four four three four zero four three seven zero two four four three four zero four three seven. We will expect them on WhatsApp and we'll gladly read them before Francis Doku will go because I'm sure that some of them would be <laughs> addressed to yeah. you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Again, uh, so that's the point. I mean, the point that I was trying to make is that. This is the brand of Yuma. This is the worth that the owners of the brand, the AU and it. International, put and we, on we it. That we and you said it. that this yes. is it, so you, you went for Okay, then also okay. the question about the 90%, you know, yeah. has, so has become, you know, uh, a major discussion. Both are things that we have. Uncle Ken and Sadiq, both are things that we have the hands. Um, Sadiq also isn't happy that, you know, a lot, of, I think in front of the minister, he made mention of that, that he's not happy that about the percentage of people. Uncle Ken... He's not uh, 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 excited about the percentage of people who have to, who are foreigners, who have to work on this project. But I, th I think that's also a fair point in a way. But I, I, I take an exception to that also. But I'll tell you why. Because, um, again, Afrima is not necessarily a Ghanaian thing. Mm. Um, it's, a, it's, a it's a continental thing. Yeah. Um, and I'll tell you, the person who is doing sound is one of the sound, best sound people on the continent. Um, Bulldog would disagree that the good sound people here as well, but this is uh, see, see, look. no, Uncle Ken. I don't don't misquote so me. You. Don't do that. No, don't misquote me. I am no. saying that you have the people. No, we have, I am we saying have that the men. We have the men. That's not what I've said. Okay, so what did you say? <laughs> I am saying that. <laughs> We should put money in our own concept. Correct. Simple. Okay. I'm not saying that because Afrima is here, we should have allowed our people to work on it. Okay. That's what All I'm right, saying. So, okay. so I'm, just, I'm, just that, okay. I'm just making a point that I'm just making a point that the people who work on Afrima are spread across the continent. Mm -hmm. It's not just from one country. There are people from and the, I was making a point about a Zimbabwe guy. He's called Remember. You know, and no, okay. Zimbabweans like such names. <laughs> He's from Zimbabwe. Mm. Um the 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 director of Afrima in terms of the production director is from South Africa. She's mm -hmm. called Erica. The producer is is also from South Africa. Um, the television director is called John. He's from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But they are working with people who are young. Mm -hmm. I can't mention Nabil. All the equipment mm -hmm. that are, were sourced locally were sourced by Nabil. From mm -hmm. Nabil. I had a and, minister um, of House give us equipment. With the took it. I think she, you heard that she said that. She said Chata House. house. She mentioned... She Nabil said, uh, sourced local equipment. Yes. All the light, I mean, part of the light that, that were used at the International um, uh, Independence Square came from... Uh, Control uh, Eddie. Uh, Eddie. Eddie Blabo. Mm -hmm. um, the set design... And 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 Miss G, mm -hmm. if you enter the International Conference Center today, mm -hmm. you see one of the finest sets you've ever seen. Was designed 
or built by uh, to, 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 Tony Tomiti. Mm, one of, in fact, everybody here will know Tony is our best or one of our best set uh, designers, and he did that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know, so the point is that as much as there's some level of you know decision taken or direction of decision taken from certain level, the use and final thing that came out is you know a collaboration between us and them. Um, the production that manager for the Afrima village was Regis, Regis Ambezo. Everybody who's in events knows Regis. Regis lives in this country. Regis is the husband of uh, Whitney. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry uh, <laughs> Anita Eskin. Mm. You know, so mm. I'm just making the point that, yes, there's a, 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 a lot of people who have come in to help produce this, but we're also using people locally look, as well. Yes. Mm. But like Uncle Ken said, this is somebody's brand. And part of accepting that is that Afrima is solely in charge of production. Thank mm. you. Everything about production is Afrima. But make sure that you work with people. And again, to say that Afrima is not necessarily a Ghanaian thing. So the the view of Afrima is that let's source from equipment all from Africa. Africa. Mm. So some of the equipment are coming Uncle from Côte d'Ivoire. Some of the equipment came from Côte d'Ivoire. Some have come from Togo. Majority of it from Ghana. Some has come from Nigeria. And even some from South Africa. Okay. You know, so it's just to look at bit doing things. But I also need to add that. I also we, need to mm, address mm. a bit of what Uncle Ken Uncle said Ken. about publicity. Uncle Ken about publicity again the the fact is this um afrima is, is a new concept in ghana at least mm. it's it's, it's it shouldn't be the continent it shouldn't be and we've spoken about afrima for a while yes. but the fact is that people haven't connected with it as much. right and so i would say that it's like introducing a new brand into mm -hmm. the market mm -hmm. people will not see it but that's why i was happy when afrima was coming to ghana mm -hmm. because i have been to afrima and i've seen the value and how big it mm -hmm. was so that people mm -hmm. would have a feel of it and then understand when you're saying certain things unfortunately we had to negotiate a lot more to get a kind of media you know um support. you know uh, support, support that we got mm -hmm. uh i'm sure that subsequent ones it may be better than it is. Okay. Yeah, I agree that okay. we could have done better with our outdoor. Of course, now towards the last week, we've had a bit of exactly. uh, show yes. voice some on the outdoor. Some exposure, but yeah. I'm sure that we may have improved improve on that mm. a bit more in mm. subsequent ones. Yeah. And, uh, and so I agree to a sense. But mm. we tried very much within the time we had. If you recall, it was only September mm. that we accepted to. Uh, yes, that was a bit so we had a bit yes, of a short a time to now yeah, sit right. down and negotiate. That's and negotiation true. in Ghana and media takes a bit of time also. Mm. So yes, um, in regards to who owns a brand, I think I'll address that. It mm. is, it is, it you is the, the, the AU yeah. mm. together with the International Committee, mm -hmm. which is made up of people of different backgrounds mm -hmm. in music and uh, across the continent. The structure of Afrima is this, and I can, can refer to it. That you have what you call the international committee, mm -hmm. yeah. which is made up of regional directors. So there are five regions, Northern Africa, Western Africa, Central Africa, Southern Africa, and Eastern Africa. Mm -hmm. And then you have what you call the country directors for mm -hmm. all the 54 countries, mm -hmm. you know. And then, so there's a reporting line that eventually gets to. So there are things you may know, there are things you may not know. But mm -hmm. the fact is that you have your responsibility to make Correct. sure that in the market, you manage the brand. Yeah. Okay. And that's what we have done up until now. Okay, so bringing up that, I, I want to quote the minister on <laughs> Hits FM. Francis I, think should, Goku. I think we should discuss tonight. Sir. Francis <laughs> Doku. Wait, he's yes. Yeah, so I, I, I think, think, I think but no, anyway. but yeah, I think you should time. respond. Yeah, Francis sure. Doku, you have failed. Oh. Yes, she said so. And you were there. Mm. She said that when the issues about the DJs, she said that she was not the one that contracted the DJs. And she wasn't the producing, so she couldn't yes. have contracted so, the DJs. So, but the DJs <laughs> said <laughs> you contracted them and after giving them the job to do, refused to pay them. And she said on live radio that you had been given the money. And so she, she began to talk about some sabotage. No, 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 that wasn't linked. Oh, no, it was linked. You no, were no, there. Not to oh, it was. So, so let, me, let me just clarify. I think she made the, the point sabotage, sabotage yeah. in mm -hmm. the context that mm -hmm. she thought that people were behind yes. mm -hmm. people were behind the people deferring with some of the things to actually so she, because she doesn't pour, understand why you have been given you know, the money and that money had not been given to the yeah. dj's then again you, you know in that context or during that conversation then she mentioned that and it's yeah. also because and i'm not saying that she was directly referring to you but she said that during that submission that is also because some 
company or some individual wanted to have Afrima all to themselves and she decided that it was not going to happen. Mm. So she believes that this person or this company is behind all the sabotage. And that was when she had yeah. the, the discussion about the DJs has started. Yeah. And because she mentioned your name and said, Francis Doku, you had failed and you're here. You don't look like a failure to me. <laughs> I'm not a failure. I mean, you know me. Um, you know, I honestly felt that we would talk more about the event that's happening that's going to yes. happen without necessarily going into all the things that so have been said to, this week to but i just to need to be a bit of clar clarification on that yes. if you allow me it's that yes i did when i did, did i it. did i did speak to the djs i did speak to the djs i was the one who arranged for them to perform on the night i mean the point was uh to do a show that would be you know they start on a high back to back mm. the back the only change will be djs moving in so we're going to do a, a dj show kind of thing with performers coming in between hype men you know and all that so we agreed to put on a few djs i spoke with killer fingers mm. to get me some of the djs that we agreed because he was close with them most of them were from the yfm you know circle and we agreed that this was what will pay each person and so uh, he told me that Charlie, they will make sure that they, they need to get the money before they leave. Mm -hmm. I said, fine, we'll do that. Uh, and so when we got there, they said, Charlie, the money. I said, kill a finger start. I spoke with you. I'll make sure that we get the money before we, we leave. And so th he started playing. The others would have come to play also. Then I had but to. But he said already that he didn't. Okay, that was uh, that was, was Mike uh, Smith. Mike Smith. Smith. Okay. So I even spoke with Mike Mike Smith when when Killer Fingers was playing. He said, oh, "Charlie, no more. Give us the money, so <laughs> give us Vim to mm. you know kind of." And I said, "Oh, I'll make sure that you get it before we leave here." So I this I was standing, and then um, Michael Blackson's manager said that Michael wanted to go back to the hotel Kempinski. So I said. The guys who were supposed to pick them, the drivers, were not around. So I'll go and drop them at the mm. hotel, you know, myself. So I put them in my car and I was going to drop them. And when I got to the hotel, I got a call from Pep, Pep Jr., who was mm. helping us to run the show, that one of the DJs had put the plug because they say that we haven't paid them. In the middle of a who's show... That, who's that DJ? One of them. You, you know, don't want to mention... No. In the middle ah. of the show... That was running That's live after across the continent. Because I, 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 well, because I, I, I think from what the discussion I had, at least some DJs' names, some of the names came up. So there was Black who was begged to go back. I don't know if Black was the one playing at that time because he no, said he <laughs> said the minister actually begged him to go back to play and do it for Ghana. No, he he wouldn't say that because he hadn't started playing, so he cannot he couldn't have gone. Oh, back. but you are there. You yeah. are, that, no, that, he, he couldn't have gone back, back because he hadn't started playing. Black okay. hadn't started playing. Okay, but but that's what was said on radio on Hits FM that yeah, Black but I'm was correcting that Black okay. hadn't started okay. playing. Okay, so. and then there was Mike Smith well, the who said he never that. played at all. Was he begged yes. or he was persuaded? Well, the minister said, said, said he should go and do it for Ghana. No. No, there is well, persuasion. I don't think he was. He didn't say he was persuaded. persuaded. Yeah, and she did also say that. He only said the minister encouraged. told him. This is persuaded. Persuaded. Uh, persuaded. persuaded is the best. No, no, no. no. It wasn't persuasion. Abu was there. No, I also heard Abu that woman. was there. He actually commanded the guy to do it. She did not command. Go and do it for Ghana. She did not command. She didn't command. She did not command. She persuaded. No, no. I was just narrating what happened. So I was quite that somebody had. Okay. And that was a show that was. <laughs> that was going live <laughs> across the continent. I mean, I think a point also has to be made that although the country in which the Afrima is produced, most of the people who would attend will be, you know, citizens of that country. Mm -hmm. It's a show produced for entire continent mm -hmm. across about 84 different countries, you know. And so you pull a plug and on was the show it Killer Fingers? Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't Killer Fingers. Like Killer Fingers was the one who was playing. Francis mentioned the know. name. Oh, so, so. That's why she mentioned the name. I oh, think that no, no, no. there's no need to. I'm just saying this. Uh, sort of you were there, thing. so it was public knowledge. Oh, no, I, Whoever see, pulled I, I just I don't want the conversation to stand. I was just yeah. relating it because <laughs> I haven't had opportunity to, sp to speak about this. So mm. I feel that I need to just You need to clarify because, you know, that. especially when so, the minister had mentioned so one the of the, specifically. Yeah, one of the, of the DJs who was contacted. Mm. And and I didn't speak there, directly. I didn't even speak directly. I didn't want to talk. Okay. Did you pay the DJs? But were you listening to me? I'm not. No, sorry, you should have listened Please to me because I've on. said that yeah. we agreed to pay them and we're yeah. going to pay. They hadn't finished the work, we were still yeah. there. You know, it's not like the show so had the, ended and so nobody had paid anybody. In your the show, no, I I was just going well, to drop that. Yeah. 
You know, I, I no, think but if you engage somebody. It depends on the contract they have. And he said he told them that he will give them the money before they are, they, are, they leave the place. So it's the contract they have with the people. So the verbal contract. Well, they agreed to it. That's what the, that's yeah, what matters. Yeah, the verbal contract. Know. I I killer fingers. I I had I didn't have a direct uh, contact with, with all, all the of DJs, them. So it was just fingers. yeah, killer fingers, mm. and then DJ Black separately because he okay. was performing on his own as well. You know, so that was what happened. And so when we came back, I came back and we said. Why would why would anybody do that, you know? And and so the conversation went on, and then Black was spoken to that he should then start his 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 routine. So because it wasn't his turn at the time <coughs> to do it. So Black you replaced know. whoever pulled the yeah, plug. Yeah, Black mm. Black Black replaced Killer Fingers, ah. and it wasn't Killer. So Killer, Killer Fingers. So he said he's not Killer. No, he didn't he, pull the plug. He said he's yeah. not Killer Fingers. But so how did Black, Black replace him then? So Black had to be fast tracked to perform. Because, because mm -hmm. you know, there was a bit of, you know, you know, discussion oh. when behind no, the stage. We are stage, even making the know. thing difficult for us to understand. Because you are not <laughs> allowing yourself on. to understand. You are not going to tell us. <laughs> no. I am you narrating things us. to you. Move on. You are not no. going to tell us who pulled mm. the plug. So go on. Okay. I'm ah. narrating to you mm. about ah. how things progress. Mm. So after all the, you know, emotional calming down and mm. all that, Black was asked to now go and play. And that was what happened. And that was what happened. So... There and then, <coughs> the payment had to be done to Killer Fingers because he performed on the night. Full payment or part? Full payment mm. was ah, done so, to so him. You hadn't given but there are some who were uh, part paid. But no. it's, it's, uh, look, what I don't understand is that they if agreed, agreed to that I'll pay so you. What, what are you, what, what's you your issue? Oh, you haven't contracted anybody to do and something for you after. Before. Is that what you're saying? Or is it because ah. it's a free match? Please, let's move on. We have another issue. I mean, I don't think you're saying that. I'm just saying that. If you ask me this question. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, look. It happened to... To... Are you asking me? Can you... <laughs> you, you, you see, you're not you, getting you the to bring the just the Duma issue here. It's, it's sad. No, because you're, you're, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, you are receiving seven hundred thousand dollars and you're not giving the people the money. Okay. But talk about hey. just the Duma. Hey. The guy doesn't even have nothing. This guy. Hey. 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 H
the state money. I don't know how. But it wasn't paid. Francis. The minister gave him that. Money. Yes, it wasn't okay, Francis who gave that paid. money. So I told the you about the minister, the minister uh, said she had, she was called, issue. yes, and so had to go and, in her pocket. and resolve <laughs> a, a, a situation. <laughs> Isn't that what she said? Yes. Yeah. So, so Francis so, might not be the person who gave him no, the money. No, but she did so because Francis was not there, so she needed to do something. So Francis I want wasn't to know, on top. I want to know if we are going to retrieve that thousand from him. I didn't pay the money to me. How do I retain it? From from so, so I think <laughs> I, I think I get a sense what happened. And, and it's, likely it's likely that it's likely that it's likely that what was given it's likely that what was given to oh, Killer well. Fingers mm. was actually probably oh. he being the lead probably, probably spread it with them. when the minister was yeah, speaking. Know, she said because they were complaining about money, she had only six thousand <laughs> with her, and mm. she gave it to Killer Fingers that they share amongst themselves. Yes. And Mike Smith said he had thousands, so don't be as you were there when the woman was speaking. So why I'm saying probably. Don't probably anything. So. So, so you're saying that because you didn't give him that money, you won't go for it or you won't speak about it and you're not paying Mike Smith. Uh, how do I go for money that so I So you're not paying pay? Mike Smith? Why Mike Smith? I told you about the team of DJs. Oh, there was this. there was Kes, there was uh, Artist, there was Loft, there was okay, Mike. Why you mentioned just pointing at one person? No, because you had mentioned two names. You had said here that you are paid Black. Black also confirmed that he's, he was yeah. paid yesterday. You said you have paid uh, Killer Fingers. Oh, Mike Black has Smith, been paid Yes, now. Black fully, said he was paid yesterday. You spoke to him. Yeah. Black has been paid. Killer fingers have been paid. Mike Smith said he didn't play. He mm. got thousand CDs. Mm. But per his per his argument, he showed up. Mm. Yes. He left if he had him already. He, he said he, he was, left his radio show. Yeah. No, but that's what it is. Once you engage somebody and they come, so they let show him up. Speak, eh? Let him speak. Hey, so I, I, I'm, I'm wondering yeah, how so I've Francis spoken. That's why I so said that's why I said him. from the that's beginning that if anybody so that has an issue. Show. Yeah, show. let's go on to the so, show. So no, you're not yeah. yes or no, then we go on to the show. Mike I said why you mention one I said out of the DJs who played. I said out of the DJs who 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 played? Why is it difficult for you to say yes or no? And let's move. No, on. because Francis. you can't tell me what to answer. <laughs> I am I am Wendy Shea. Don't allow them. You know. so, 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 let me let me ask so, you a damn question. Don't you paid everybody on this show tonight because we don't want that thing to happen there again. Who is everybody? I mean the people important. I mean those who are supposed to be doing the back people. Have you paid them? Like who and who? Oh, you know the people you are working with, the I don't DJs, know. the them. DJs, them. the lights, the people, the yeah, all oh, the production, and the, no, and the like DJs. Who who? Oh, are you do you involve them? In I terms of the production them. tonight. Hey. Oh, as for anybody who needs Francis, to don't allow them. Who has signed a contract uh -huh, has been paid according oh, to and the terms of the contract will have been be fulfilled. Paid. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Don't yeah. allow them let's to get. Nice yeah. show. So Don't get your niggas in a twist. Since you answered the issue about Mike Smith, let's go on to today's I'm show. I'm not. I'm, I'm, you, why are you singling it? Because I heard him on radio. He's the one I'm who spoke on radio. I'm telling you there were few of them. Why are you but singling it? I've not heard the others. So I'm speaking on You can move on. I don't say that if I won't answer Mike Smith. But I'm speaking on the facts that I have. The fact that I have is that he said he's received thousand CDs. Right. He was contracted for 6,000 CDs. Mm -hmm. It means that he has a difference of 5,000 CDs. Mm -hmm. And I'm just seeking clarification because he didn't perform. If you, will, if you would uh, have listened to what I've said. I've been to, listening to you all this while. You haven't, you haven't I have said have anything done, about Mike I have tried very hard not to mention names. Not because to mention figures them. of what but people But he did. Have, yeah. He did. You know, so I'm not... Unfortunately I don't want for to you, he to did. The amount that we agreed to okay, pay. Okay, let's him, move on. You know. But he did. And then I, I felt it because was Because I know we didn't agree to 6,000. But I don't want to mention the amount that but you just said to us again and then uh, uh, francis i'm, I'm, so, I'm uh, sorry you just said to us now that you didn't even have a contract with him you have contracts with killer fingers but i'm to saying contract that these yeah people. i'm saying that so for each of i mentioned oh, also i mentioned also to you that for each of them we agreed on a certain figure for and each of them okay the to killer fingers to convey to them yeah for each of them so yes. killer fingers was the one conveying this message yes okay so he could have promised six thousand when you didn't promise six thousand i don't know about that it was a verbal contract to some of these anyway happen, so. let's let's talk about yeah, and, and, and so if, if, if budok sat in a contract class you know that verbal contracts are contract. i know yeah, so yeah, i'm saying binding. that's why the clarification is hard yeah. oh, no, no, but why should i sit in a, 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 a contract class to learn about verbal contracts okay, oh, when i can read it on google <laughs> Oh, this guy, ma. Get loose, he's my Google. Me attack class, ma. Oh, insurance, papa. Yes. Hey, what lawyer is that, man? Oh, now I'm going to pull up. Hey, please. Let's not go there. Can we continue? Let's talk about Francis. Because he's under way. Francis, he doesn't know what he's asking. No, please. No, no, no. Let's argue their own case. Let's go on tonight. May I call Gary Maku for you? Let's speak about your artist. Bulldog, you're taking the time we're going to spend speaking about your artist's fantastic show in Amsterdam and in London. If you keep talking, we we'll never talk about oh, okay. him. But is he coming tonight yeah. though? Okay, anyway. Hey, <laughs> you too.
Okay, tonight's show. Speak it's already who? started. No, no, no. I think that. Uh, artist. I think. Who's artist? Ah. Uh, who does artist? Who does artist? Village Which man. artist? Ah. Uh. Champion. Please, nice show. Papa. No, I think that. Uh, what is giving us feedback? What. Uh, uh, Afrima promised, you know, from the beginning of when we, we and now when I say we are in Ghana, <laughs> when we yeah. accepted to host <laughs> so you this show, <laughs> was to <laughs> was to do a very spectacular show. I mean, like all the things that were promised, we yeah. wanted to do um, from Good. when that is arrived to tonight, and so a lot <laughs> has gone in into planning tonight's show. A lot of. Uh, Let me just say that Killer Figures just sent me a message. Interesting. I don't know whether he wanted me to read on air. Read me. No, just said interesting. That's all ah. he said. So I'm sure he's listening. Yeah, in. He's, is that yeah. what he said? Yeah, interesting. He's still talking. What is it? Let's go on. So, um, uh, we promised to <laughs> do a very good show, a spectacular show. And so tonight will be spectacular. Uh, the essence is to I look at how I'm to have be. a show. That reflects Ghana because tonight's show, I mean, the Afrima has been held in Ghana, and so we would do a show that everybody will be appreciative of. Mm. Uh, as Sadiq mentioned about the Afrima Village, mm -hmm. this is a show that is done for TV, produced for TV, mm -hmm. and so the effect has to be seen um, on TV. That if you're sitting in front of your television, or watching on your small device or mm -hmm. however you receive the show, it will be one that you appreciate. From when it starts to when it ends, will be spectacular. It's ah, also okay. an award show, so you know some people would win awards, some would not win. I had hoped that we would make sure that we voted for the people who would um, uh, Ghanaian nominees. So they will win mm -hmm. awards. But if you but say you had hopes, it looks, it looks like we are not winning because you said you had hopes. Oh, no, no. I don't know who will win. Really. But you said you had hopes. So it's from when it was like open. From when the It was like the we voting. didn't vote. I don't know. But you said you had hopes. Oh, please, Bulldog. Listen to him so that you can also raise yeah, the money. Right, you are being semantic. No, no, no. You, I, I heard I'm you say we ha you had no. hopes. Yeah. So it's almost looking like... You know your hopes are shattered because we my hopes do. are not shattered. Oh, well, anyway, maybe it's, maybe it's how I I, I heard. Oh, I said Miss V, mm. Miss G. Okay, you know. So is, that, is, that, yeah. is the show free or is it a paid? It's it's a show by strictly by invitation. So uh, those who have invitation Cannot would be in there. Be in there. Okay. Those Talking. who do not can watch on TV. Yeah, okay. because it will only take about a maximum of thousand eight hundred people mm -hmm. in in the auditorium. Mm -hmm. But we will try to make it a show that everybody who encounters it will say yes this is a few more channels uh, uh, francis but i find it a bit disturbing yeah that people here in ghana that you put on your academy mm -hmm. to vote did not receive invitations mm. Mm. like your good self like my good self mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a that's a that's a big laugh that uh, I'll personally we'll I'll personally <laughs> take <laughs> and <laughs> apologize <laughs> for <laughs> really <laughs> because yeah it's a it's a big laugh yes. yes. because and, people who help to get your oh. event yeah. going. going oh at least Uncle yeah. Ken he's admitted that Uncle Ken okay can you find a place in your heart to forgive me but is it too late to give him an invitation I'll find a place in my kidney. <laughs> if it's not too late, I can, I can let can you. He can give you an invitation now. But let's read some of your messages. And uh, it says, hello, Miss G. Residents of New Wage are having experienced Zoom so yet. Hopefully, we never do. And it's coming from K. And good afternoon. Okay, he's giving him Uncle Ken and Afrima t-shirts. Nice one. Yes. Without the invitation. No, it's okay. Good evening, Miss G. Me too, I'll be convert. Make our ass off. Hey, so there's some sharing going on. Good evening, Miss G. But of course, Ghana is a village. Okay, so we are yet to have that discussion. 55 ambulances for 29 million people. Doom saw our leaders traveling for holidays and health purposes. Well, there is a man. Macron or Trump come to Kolebu, even if they are referred there, people. We deserve better than this. And that's from J. Inkum Winneba. And Charlie Bulldog, today, you are out of contest. I don't see anything wrong with having this event hosted in Ghana. And Bulldog is gradually metamorphosing into a fine, typical African politician. He should, he should have channeled his anger towards how he can develop the Omowo. <laughs> Uh, Asafutu, uh, and our numerous festivities in the in world class uh, international events. 
In my strong opinion, even the Chalawate Festival could be upgraded to keep holiday makers busy in winter. I was at the event on Thursday night and I observed that the whole Afrima Music Village event was poorly planned and organized. It's our top artists. It's, our, it's sad our top artists failed to take advantage uh, of this big opportunity and promote their brands beyond our borders. At the point in time, I felt like I was in a Shyama to the World concert, but just that the equipment were much better. Good afternoon, Ms. G. Interesting discussion. Please, it's been four days already, and I want to find out if we have started seeing any signs of benefits from the Afrima. According to the minister, hosting the Afrima is supposed to put Ghana on the spotlight through new media and international press. But has it? The event is not even appearing on the local trends. And and these are things that you should be taking note of, uh, Francis. I said the event is not even showing on the local trends and the buzz is feeble. I checked on Instagram and Twitter pages of Afrima and I realized that the, the likes per post on the official page is not up to a thousand. Is that to say that we are going to rely on the post of celebrities present? Is that what we will put Ghana on the spotlight? What if they decide not to post anything themselves? So we spent seven hundred thousand dollars for nothing, Miss Jim. Where is the bus? The minister keeps talking about Kuku Inkum from Ejukuma Ejukuma Ba or so Ejumaku. Sorry, Ejumaku uh, Ba. And uh, those are some messages uh, from uh, the listeners on our film. All right, so we would have to wrap up this conversation and talk about tax. We have just about 35 minutes roughly to talk about the tax and also talk about um, uh, Chatawale in London and Amsterdam. And so I'm sure Francis Doku will want to run or you want to yes, go. Yes, yes, I, 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 I would like to, to oh, run. He needs I like to, to go, go to check so that nobody pulls things. the plug. You know what I mean. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> nobody pulls the plug in your absence. But we are very, very grateful to you, country director, for the All Africa. Thank you very Award. much for the opportunity. And I should take this opportunity to thank everybody especially the media mm. i mean um it could be better but we've had our help also from the media mm. and i will hope that subsequently we'll do this better than we have done this year and everybody will now come to accept that your, your pardon now we can share a cake now shoko you are not here sadik brought you a beautiful cake wow, nice. unfortunately you're not here to enjoy the cake so sadik has decided to throw a party so you're eating the cake in the absence can you imagine sadik said we should enjoy the cake in the absence of now so we are about to throw a party here in the studio hopefully next week when Na is back she gets another cake hey so the country director shared the t-shirt he forgot me when he's going away i, mm. I, I also Sorry. go and tell I mike smith <laughs> anyway thank you very much and, are, you, uh, are you happy on the red carpet tonight Oh, but the red Typical carpet is done by the time I'm done. But you're up in other words. Have you ever seen me on any red carpets? Please, let's continue hey. this conversation. Sleeping now, specialist. Now, um, <laughs> okay, so we have some messages uh, from some sponsors. We are back after those. What have you got planned this Christmas? Join Joyful Way Incorporated as we make this Christmas an unforgettable one. It's Explosion of Joy 2018. Guest artists, Claire and Tombella and Tetwa, and Pastor Joe Beecham. Afternoon session, 2 to 5 p.m. Evening session, 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Grab your early bed tickets at 70 Ghana cities throughout the month of November. And do not miss out on our Wednesday price slash. Afternoon session tickets would go for only 60 Ghana cities every Wednesday till December. It's simple. Visit myjoyfulway.com and click buy ticket to begin the process. Our online payment is powered by I Pay Ghana. Explosion of Joy 2018. Jesus reigns. Roverman Productions in partnership with the National Theatre and Joy FM presents the latest ever-wide play, Sex Scandal. He is at the height of his career with the whole world at his feet. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your Artist of the Year, Holy Boy! Life couldn't possibly be better, but somewhere in the darkness, <laughs> a naked secret is about to send it all crashing down. Oh my God! It's finished! Wow. Is that a Holy Boy? Sex Scandal shows at the National Theatre on November 24th, 25th, and December 1st and 2nd at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. each day. Rates 80 Ghana cities. Tickets available at Joy FM, Bond Savings and Loans branches, Shell Shops at Airport, Tama Community 11, and Dasuman. 
Frankie's, Osu, Say Cheers, Accra Mall, and all usual outlets. Sponsor, Bond Savings and Loans, Media Partners, MyJoyOnline.com, AdumOnline.com, GhanaWeb.com, Pulse.com.gh, Logistics Movers, DDP Outdoor, Daily Guide, Gold Street Business, Prime News Ghana, Joy News TV, Adum TV, Joy Prime, and WebSoft Solutions. What is all this? One Ghana, one Ghana pay. What, what is it? Charlie, do you know that with one Ghana City pet, you can refresh yourself with a chill bottle of Pepsi, Miranda, and Seven Up? Pay one Ghana City pet, not more. <laughs> one Ghana, one Ghana, one Ghana, one Ghana, one Ghana, one Ghana, It's an 11-day, 10-night tour of Singapore, Bali, and Malaysia with me, Israel Laie. As your host, dubbed the Taste of Asia, the tour starts with a visit to the Lion City of Singapore. For a cable car and sky ride, winds of time, plus a bird's eye view of the city. In Bali, Indonesia, experience the superior Balinese culture and hospitality at a luxurious five-star resort. In Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, feel the beauty and glamour of the city as you walk sky high between the Petronas Stars. The seventh edition of the Adansi Travels Discover the World Tour series with multimedia from December 19 to 30 is for a cool $2,850 for singles and $5,600 for couples, including hotel and breakfast, visa, tours, and your flight on Ethiopian Airline, the spirit of Africa. Kindly pick a form at the Joy FM front desk or visit the Dancit Travels at Ukonglo East Legal, opposite the Ekaba, or call 055-631-0404. Don't be left out. Hurry and book your seat now. After all, you've earned it. Ghana's biggest DJ competition is here again. Who takes over from DJ Obina? It's season four of the Hits FM What Says DJ competition. Last year was massive with an essay trip amidst other prizes. This year will be mega. DJs from all over the country will battle for supremacy on the Serato Mixer to prove their worth to hold the title as the next What Says DJ. Tune in to the Cruise Control on Hit 103.9 FM with Mercury Quay Monday to Friday from 6.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. You could also watch the competition live on Facebook at Hits 103.9 FM and catch the excitement. Also on Joy Prime on the Hot Pick Show from 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. The Hottest DJ Competition is brought to you by Hits 103.9 and powered by Joy Prime. Sponsored by Western World Properties, Susie Herbal, Chris Coconut Milk, Glorious Juice, and Royce Energy Drink. Hits FM, Hottest DJ. Unearthing unique talents. Roverman Productions in partnership with the National Theatre and Joy FM presents the latest ever white play, Sex Scandal. He is at the height of his career with the whole world at his feet. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your artist of the year, Holy Boy! Life couldn't possibly be better, but somewhere in the darkness... A naked secret is about to send it all crashing down. Oh my god! It's finished! Is that the holy boy? Sex Scandal shows at the National Theatre on November 24th, 25th, and December 1st and 2nd at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. each day. Rates 80 Ghana cities. Tickets available at Joy FM, Bond Savings and Loans branches, Shell Shops at Airport, Tama Community 11, and Dasuman. Frankie's, Osu, Say Cheers, Accra Mall, and all usual outlets. Sponsor, Bond Savings and Loans, Media Partners, MyJoyOnline.com, AdumOnline.com, GhanaWeb.com, Pulse.com.gh, Logistics Movers, DDP Outdoor, Daily Guide, Gold Street Business, Prime News Ghana, Joy News TV, Adum TV, Joy Prime, and WebSoft Solutions. Many of us stand the chance of becoming victims of globalization, not the shakers and the movers. That a great man was asked, how do you bring up children? And he said, the first is by example, the second by example, and the third by example. What are the top 
10 things. Abed, I should confess to you, it's a very difficult subject you're handling. If you ever found Kelly anywhere, system is two, the three legs of those two are faith, truthfulness, and enjoyment. Please don't pull any of these legs out. If you do, you will fall. 10 years of reviewing the past, situating the present, and predicting the future. Springboard, your virtual university matriculates at 7 p.m. and graduates at 8 p.m. every Sunday on Joy 99.7 FM. Springboard is a very significant intervention in our national life. The radio program, the virtual university, and the roadshow have become important uh, factors in the development of our human capital. Springboard is brought to you by Legacy and Legacy and Joy FM and proudly sponsored by Ecobank, MTN and Central University with support from the graphic business. Hi, this is Sharon Lecter, co-author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad and the Rich Dad series. Remember to keep listening to Springboard, your virtual university with Albert Okran. It's going to help you create financial freedom for yourself and your families. Springboard, your personal value will shoot up. It's Showbiz A to Z. It's Showbiz A to Z. And we are done talking about the Afrima. Maybe next weekend when uh, Ana is around, we'll get to analyze what we go to see today at the Accra International Conference Center. But we hope that, you know, we are able to make the whole of Africa proud because it's a big deal for us to be hosting Africa. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, the likes of Bulldog will have something different to say <laughs> next week Saturday when they get the opportunity to speak about it. But now we need to talk some tax business. And we have been asked to pay tax. It's looking very weird to some of the celebs who have been told to pay tax. They think that, you know, why should they even pay tax? Some of the things that they have were gifts. And so they say, if they were gifts, pay gifts tax. So we are told that they are supposed to pay, uh, but some of them say they are already paying. I think I heard the minister say that 9% uh, goes directly to GRE. That's from Musica, Gamro, and uh, some outlets already pay 9% to GRE on behalf of these musicians. But the musicians are supposed to pay tax for the shows, the jobs they do, and all that. How did we get to, you know, quantify or be able to tell what they have done since they say that the, the movie industry especially has slowed. Well, let's get to hear from uh, Mr. Labi, who was at the tax forum with uh, the celebs. Your lifestyle and information that we gather. I told you that the commissioner using... <laughs> Very good. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy when I mentioned... I was, I was a bit hesitant to mention lifestyle, but I have to mention because, because that is why intersection, intersection, please, we are engaging you, so I must be honest and come out so that where you think there's disagreement, you trash it out. Very good. Yes, you might be right, riding or driving expensive car. Don't tell me this understanding because we can easily go to excuse me we can easily go to DBLA okay yes we are working with other entities we can go to the DBLA and find out information about you if that car belongs to you you start from that point too so there are so many ways that we can assess a taxpayer a person to tax all right, so that's uh, Ewukulabi who was the one educating or sensitizing these celebs on uh, the need to pay tax. And you hear them scream when he says, uh, with your lifestyle and the things you do, you know, is what is informing our decision. But also would want to see or hear from some of the celebs who have been complaining. But before we do that, one person who was there, Kwame Ajimanbeku, who wasn't excited, who who felt that he had wasted his time uh, attending the sensitization uh, forum uh, is here in the studio with us and uh, he's an he says now he's an advocacy 
Ghana writer. So he's for art advocacy, not advocacy. But this is art advocacy, uh, and writing is is what he does now. So Kwame, so we saw you rant on social media. We didn't really get. It, what what was it? Okay, it wasn't a rant. That was us. a brief sermon. Oh, oh. And my so, appreciation mm -hmm. of um, the event that was hosted um, at the Coconut Grove Reg uh, Regency Hotel mm -hmm. at our expense. Um, yes. And why weren't you amused by some of the things that you were told in there? Well, um, thank you very much for this opportunity. And um, I believe I speak for um, a lot of good people who mm. spend... Um, who have spent um, decades, sweat and blood, to um, let us have something we can call an industry. Now, um, I must, um, for the um, benefit of the little time that we have, mm -hmm. state emphatically that nobody under the um, creative arts industry is saying that we, we are not going to pay or we are not interested in helping build a better Ghana. We want to pay. Okay. Now. Uh, reservations um, and I say our because I found out that um, most of the professional senior men who have um, I came to meet in the industry had the same reservations as in the um, executive the top hierarchy of um, the Ghana Revenue Authority who came to and in their own words um, take the position of the law so we inculcate um, or we just take um, as gospel mm -hmm. that we should give them our money um, they, they were all like, no, hold on a minute. You don't even know what we do. You do not understand. And indeed, they did admit from uh, just under 20 minutes, it was that clear that these elderly statesmen, very old, have very or close to no idea what we do on the grounds. There are specialized areas, even in events, in production. People uh, um, offer services, specialized services that they didn't go to universities to learn. They learned by, on the job or created these um, sectors within the chain of um, command in production, music or audiovisual. They created it by themselves. They have mastered it. They go out. Um, Nabil, which school Nabil go away? They take go, um, Abroche go inform events, international events. I'm using Nabil because he was my senior in school. Okay. Kufuri has like nobody events and all those kind of things. Mm. But today, he shifts a lot of monies and he pays his taxes. You know, so we are saying that, come to us, let us educate you guys before you take the position of the law. Because you see, even with the law that they cited, um, it, it is supposed to make us um, um, better citizens okay. in, in nation building. Mm. Now, if the law is, um, in our opinion, flawed to a certain extent as in um, it didn't take into consideration who we actually are and how we inform the economy of Ghana mm -hmm. then it, it cannot be applied or in other words eventually everything will come to naught because we are going to evade because you don't even know what we do that's true now we are saying that we want to and I was impressed with the turnout I didn't see any musician or uh, I think film they had people. BS yesterday and, at and, uh, and the I'll come to it. Mm. Now, how come they have BS and what this was for an elitist or a more intelligent group or a, a less talented group? Listen, we do not have time. We know the government needs money and it is indeed true and important that we all pay taxes. But the position of the GRA and and to be fair they did admit in fact, when we started, the Commissioner General himself of the GRE was not supposed to be part of um, that interaction. But along the line, when we were just about, um, figuratively speaking, lynch them, the, he came in, he popped up, he stopped whatever he was doing to come and... Uh, Save to, his people. Uh, because nobody was, uh, for want of a better word, um, making any sense of the um, interaction. Believe you me, it was that... Uh, pathetic okay so the um the mc of the occasion she works with the gra mm -hmm. she at a point wanted to take advantage of the break session we instructed her there and then that we don't want any break we are continuing this today nobody is going anywhere so what was the resolve well the, uh, yes what <laughs> happened was when the um commissioner the director commissioner general well, the, the very topmost um, official. When he came, and uh, we had to re um, 
echo our concerns so that we, we would not be told that the reports or the minutes of the session has been misplaced or you know a tsunami happened and took it away so we had to re-echo them mm -hmm. now he said that um, among other things we told them that hire some of us at least five of us mm -hmm. and at a fee so that we consult for you okay then you can come back to rest that oh okay so now we know who you guys are what you do and just when he had to excuse himself that listen there are other pressing issues that he had to, to go to. when he rose all of us left oh that's how serious we are so um because you also had to attend to pressing things no we didn't have anything to do with our lives to begin with that's why we came there so that we can mm -hmm. you know get to know what we are doing now the, we found out that the men who held the fort before the, the director general himself came, they were playing with us. They were reading from text. Um, and we told them that, listen, you guys are reading text to us mm. without even knowing who we are. Let me tell you a story, Ms. G. I once met um, Professor Atukwe kind of, Atu kind of blessed, blessed memory, memory. Mm. Uh, in a parking lot. I approached him, introduced myself and told him that, say, um, I am an artist manager. I was like, wow, interesting. That's a new one. Tell me about it. And then I took my time, and within, let's say, two minutes, I made some attempt. I was like, oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Then, gentlemen, I think this and this and this, mm -hmm. off the top of his head and on his feet, he explained to me, he gave me so much wisdom to ply my trade. Now, that for me is testament to the fact that there is a certain I um, mean, bracket of a generation who have not had any experience with certain chores that are fetching money. Listen, I've done artist management all, all my life. You understand? That's what I used to do everything. Now, I have paid little or no taxes because nobody, it has not been captured as um, like, let's say if you're a farmer or you're a teacher. Mm. Okay. So I have been living my life on the coup. Without paying taxes. Now, the state is saying that I am coming to this sector because there are lapses. We are coming to um, help give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. Now, because we all be believe in that literature, we, we concede. But you do not come and duplicate um, taxes for us. Basically, that, that was our concerns. And then when you look at the current situation as it stands and i hope to god that we have another opportunity to discuss it um this, I'm sure this because this issue subject. this i know that it will take effect <laughs> in 2019 i'm even sure the 2019 believe you sure. me um listen as per what transpired on the floor mm -hmm. of the occasion there is so much illiteracy coming from the other side Which and you and mean from the those Revenue who are supposed authority. to come and collect the money. If, if, yes, of course. Exactly. Now, they do not know. They have they have they just think that we are there waiting for them to come and collect. It's coming. And you see, again, where we are coming from, we believe that yes, collect the taxes. And personally, I'm like, if this opportunity or this um crusade should yield the right results, it would also provoke musicians and art people to be expectant and have the right to question, um, let's say for instance, this $700,000 that's gone, um, almost going down the drain. You, you understand? You think it's going, going it, down? It, 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 anyway, we have ended that conversation, so we won't <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, yeah, unfortunately, I, I was late, so, hmm. and then um, pardon me for that, but again, when you have not paid taxes, you have very little moral right as a citizen to question some of these things. But beyond that um, bit of um, right as a taxpaying citizen uh, belonging to the art sector, we are saying that, listen, we, do not, we don't want to take a position where you come to rest and we'll prove to you that everything is free. At a point, there was this charter that 17.5 um, uh, or 40.5 uh, percentage of VAT was constant, even if the services provided were free. For instance, if I should hire Kwame Eugene to come and entertain my farmers on my farm. And then Kwame Eugene says, oh, he's doing it for free. The GRA will come to me and tell me that uh, we know how much Kwame Eugene will charge. So we are taxing you on that assumption that if we don't care that he, he performs for free. I think free. that's what you're saying, that even gifts uh, tax. So people you who see? claim that the cars they drive were gifts, they say, okay, 
you still will not have to pay gift tax. We, we understand that um, people can use that uh, medium to um, make nonsense of the whole initiative and not pay taxes. Mm -hmm. Tax evasion is a serious crime. Mm -hmm. Okay, you go inside. We so, see. so your concern is mm. will you pay, but you want them because I've heard somebody also told me mm. one of the uh, celebs who was there for yesterday says we will pay, but what have you given us? No, you see that is a very that's a very pedestrian way of giving us any means of I, I, making that's, money. That's a very um, and uh, now I'm a farmer, so in the, back in the day I would have used peasant way of um, looking at the whole situation or trying to challenge or interrogate the position of the law and of government to let us all be good citizens and responsible citizens at mm -hmm. that. Now, listen, when we went to where it matters most mm, at the Coconut Grove Regency. Mm -hmm. Um, nobody from the Creative Arts Council was there. Like I said, they had DS yesterday. You see, what is DS about? What do they even know? No, they, they had uh, Ewukulabi from GRA mm -hmm. coming to them. You don't need Ewukulabi. You need the boss himself because this is a serious matter. And, and once these conversations, which is coming at our cost, mind you, the venue wasn't given for free. Everything that happened there, that A4 sheet that was badly printed for the program lineup and everything, came at a cost. Now, if you waste our lives, and it wasn't my time I wasted, I felt I wasted a bit of my life there. Now, if this has gone down, when again are you going to meet us? And then do what kind of education? The uh, Creative Arts Council is going on a nationwide tour to sent, sensitize um, um, practitioners. It is, it is, it is a waste of their time and state resources. But you just said that the tax is important. It is important, so but why you see, they the core problems people? that confront the tax situation were the issues that we raised. You see, when Which we is, went, they to, don't know what you do. Now, there's a difference between, mind you, there's a difference between a very talented um, practitioner under the creative arts mm -hmm. and a very well-schooled and intelligent behind the scenes professional. Now, the talented people can compose Yenara Assassin and Nyanti Tiapa and I know my level and um, all those kind of songs. <laughs> but please, do not expect these people to um, not ask questions like, what do we get from government when uh, we pay our taxes? Again, that's a very pedestrian way. When we went to the Coconut Grove Regency, we did not at ask um, those questions. We had Sadiq, we had um, people from Chatterhouse, um, from Event Factory, all the very serious and seasoned, highly read, widely read and highly um, um, qualified people were there asking the relevant questions. Which are? For instance, um, Juan of um, a chartered accountant from Chatterhouse, for instance, posed, um, create a, created an analogy. And I, I wouldn't be fair on her if I misquote her. But mm. basically, for, um, in her instance, what she posed almost brought the house down. Like, they, even the, the man who attempted to respond to that, her question, and uh, I wish that you guys you were not there, right? No. You see, and that's the problem. We do not even have recordings of some of these very thought-provoking and top notch we, we were matching them and we beat we're them. them listen we are not tax people but when it comes to where our money should go if you want to come for our money you can take the position of the law that's where they hate but the realities on the ground is we can beat you to it which we don't want to do we want to pay our taxes but we want you to understand for instance if stone boy has a manager who is his road manager who is his um security who is his this how do they get paid which direct taxes and what quantum of indirect taxes and what VAT components are factored into what they take home. Hmm. Now, you will sit there and think that because you wear a coat and some fancy tie, you know all about what we do. Or you would disregard our expertise and how we position ourselves and the structures within our individual pocket-sized companies. Boo House Entertainment is a registered I mean, company, company under the laws of this country. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go in there, the fact that it might not be stationed here or there doesn't mean that there are no specialized people who take home something, who must be paying some taxes, um, withholding, indirect, direct, the VAT. We need to interrogate, and but they do not know what we do. 
Anyway, we don't have much time. We have a few minutes to be done. And so let's hear uh, Bulldog and then Uncle Ken. Then we can find a way to wrap up this conversation. I'm sure that uh, there'll be another day to have this conversation. I know Bull Bulldog is actually in favor of uh, paying tax. He says he pays. He agrees that they need to pay tax. And uh, not to say that Ajiman who disagrees. He says he just wants the right thing to be done. So, Boo, um, mm. <laughs> let's hear you. Um... If, if if one understands what um, taxation is meant for, like my brother here has said, we all need to contribute to... The development. Yes. Um, I think if we say we are widening the tax um, net mm -hmm. to rope everybody in, then uh, ideally people who beg for money on the street should pay their taxes as well. You know, yes, because if we say we're talking about gift tax and all that, these people make a lot of money on the streets every day. Uh, people from the creative arts, fine, yes, I've had a couple of people in the engagement. I didn't, I didn't have time to go to some of those engagements because I had gone to the office myself to engage Mr. Labi himself. Mm. You understand? The assumption is where most of the creative arts people have a problem with but regardless of that as individuals we need to file our taxes we need education on that because if you're asking it's a year long education it is a, <laughs> yeah, we don't need it. listen the well, how long Sorry. do you think we need um i do not know but believe you but me you said not a year long it yes, looks like you had some from what figure in mind yeah sorry bulldog but mm. um again the situation we are faced with mm. you do not you cannot assume that we can get this over and done with under 12 months of how many sessions? So you think we need more than that? We need a, an intensive and a more lengthier than, period when, to get more this More than 12 right. months? Yes. You, yeah. mm -hmm. See, structure, uh, structurally, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we have a problem in Ghana. And that that's, has been our, our bane from, from, from beginning. There are a lot of things a lot of people don't know. And we need public education on that, mm. you know. So, so you also agree that it won't take one year is not enough. Uh, even that they said 2019, they're not even saying that it's December 2019. They, they they have, it could be January no, 2019. No, they have, they have. Um, I think the, the the finance minister said somewhere that they have a tax attack. You know, they are getting all these NAPCO people that they've um, employed are going to make sure that if you don't, nobody's going to run away with their tax. I'm saying that why don't we spend time? on educating how mm. do i file my tax tell me how you understand mm. once you tell me i will go through the process and file it now the thing about tax is that and people and we need to demystify the 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 the, the fright phobia yes around it listen um if i don't get anything in a year i'm supposed to file my tax every year and i don't make any money I just go there, file the tax, and say, I didn't make no money. I'm not sure anybody's going to break your neck. Once you can prove that you didn't But they said so. They said so. Once you can prove that you don't have money, they don't have a problem. Because it was one of the concerns. They were actually the actress and uh, the actors. Yeah. They say the, uh, the movie industry has become very slow. Some of them shoot for free. Mm, true. So Most there's no way. No, it's, not, it's not even about the movie industry alone. Even the music industry goes through the you same. Record he gave, for free. Yeah, he gave you an example of... A Kwame Eugene, Eugene performing, yes. Mm. These young folks are going everywhere just to maintain uh, uh, some sanity. Mm. You know, they're going through a lot, sacrificing their lives. You know, I mean, uh, 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 um, small uh, event houses or, or record labels or, or management outfits, just like myself, Boo House Entertainment, we can easily say we do charity because we spend a lot of money in grooming and pushing these acts and we make very little back. You understand? So if we can go and prove to them that, listen, on paper or on paper, it doesn't look good like you feel or mm. think. I am sure they will understand. Nobody's going to so heartbroken. Yeah, exactly. They'll go home with. And and, and when you when you when you do the tax conversation here, yeah, mm -hmm. it means that you are ripping yourself apart, or you're actually exposing yourself to nothing. Because you, one of the conversations that I had with the tax officers was that, let's say I'm I'm a gentleman who feats of women the question is are you a gigolo is that the job that you do if that's the job that you do it means that you have to pay i said no maybe the women like me they know that i don't have a job so they are giving me some money and so pay gift tax thank you so i'm saying that it means that everybody requires to go there and tell them that listen Charlie, you know so in that in that in that in that space mm. you know 
if these are the the ways that they will tell us oh come and it's not it's not um scary like we're putting out there i'm sure a lot of us will go out there and and and, and do some of these things the education about about it being friendly and calm it's not out there and I, I think that's what they're trying to do yes, gradually. Yes, good. And, and I, and I, I believe that, that they are failing spectacularly. Well, <laughs> I'm sure that we have this conversation another time. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, mm. we don't have time. And unfortunately, we couldn't talk about Shasawali and all the great things is done in mm. London and in Amsterdam, mm. including letting us know how much of villagers we are. But I'm sure that uh, that conversation I might live, also happen. I live happen. in a village. Oh, yeah. He says we... So, oh, so, I live But, Buddha, let me ask you, what do you call um, <laughs> someone who is a champion who lives in a village? I don't know what you mean. What, I don't understand Like the you stitch the two words together, uh, village uh, champion. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for doing the listening. Happy birthday to you, <laughs> Nashoko, once more. <laughs> next week, Saturday, Nashoko will be here. But we are off to the Afrima. And hopefully next Saturday, when we join you, we'll give you feedback on that. Thanks to Bulldog. Thanks to Yajima Bekun. Thanks to Uncle Ken, Sadiq, and Francis Doku, who joined us for the discussion. Have a good evening. The news is up next. My name is Ms. G.